Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our adventure here in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And uh, I did a bit of more off-screen thing, like uh, unknown hunting. Completely forgot to grab a Turtwig, though. And yeah, just stuff like that. Just little things. Trying to make progress of the somewhat boring kind. But let's get an upgrade, because while I was out there, I completed so many of the Pokedex entry thingy-majigs that we should be able to get a progress report update daily. And here's all the unknowns. Most of them should be, like, literally the last few should be in the Alabaster Icelands. If my thing is correct. But what's the next, like, upgrade going to be since we already have all Pokemon Obey Me? Hmm, you made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. And there's still two more stars to go. With this, you have officially attained the rank of 8th star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. Can now use Jet Balls. Ah. Have these, so it's basically just more balls. I wonder what the Jet Balls will be. The, I guess, Megaton Ball, but for Air Flyers. Yep, Sky Tumble Stones. And full restores. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. The real question will be, what's the final upgrade going to be? Yeah. Don't have enough money for the bag man. For the diddly damn bag man. And, uh, let's see. We'll have to put away some of the fruits and stuff. Guess I could maybe buy some orange berries and stuff before we head off into the... Well, actually, first things firsty firsty. We'll probably go to the Clefairy and do the Clefairy one. That's an abomination, and I still need to, like, spend an evening purely grinding for Cherum. Or its unevolved form to evolve into a Cherum. To diddly do the thing. That I will need to dedicate some grinding to. Purely to find, like... Because I think I'm down to, like, one or two wisps per area now. Except for the final-ish one. How many do I have? I wish it would actually... Oh, well, actually, we can check the item. So, 107 we need. And then we'll check and see how many we have. Mistrevis will either be... Is either a ghost type in Mount Coronet. Or is hanging about the Alabaster Icelands. Still need to grab a Turtwig. Actually, I think I might have... One of the Burmy... Perhaps, maybe both. I only caught, like, two Burmy since, because I just, like, see a tree. I'm like, ah, Burmy time. So let's see. Do I have the Burmy you require? It seems that I might. Yep, we have both the Burmy, it looks like. Hmm, the Burmy I know is different from this one. Burmy is the Pokemon of the cloak made of the blah, 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 fine. So not the pink one. Why he thinks pink is garbage. Maybe this one. Take a good look, both of you. This little one is the real Burmy. Uh, I guess it looks pretty similar, but there's no way this is a Burmy. Yeah, I gotta agree. Where's its trash at, huh? Honestly, how can someone still be in doubt after seeing a real Burmy right up close? I suppose we'll need to compare it to those false Burmy to prove the point. Can you carry on until you've brought both the Burmy lookalikes those two spoke of, my dear? You got the Burmy yet? The trash-covered one! Is this the trash-covered one? Yay, so this is complete. I guess it is kind of trashy. Oh, now that's a Burmy! And no mistake! Huh? I don't know about that. Indeed, this Pokemon is no Burmy. Well, we've all seen each other's supposed real Burmy, but we're no closer to a green on anything. Nothing else for it. Let's have Professor Laventon decide. The Burmy he chooses to put in the Pokedex will be considered the real Burmy. Once you complete Burmy's Pokedex entry, 
Have I? Have I completed Burmy's Pokedex entry? Burmy! Burmy, where are you? I'm, I've been taking the run around, and all I get is like... Okay, good. Burmy's thing is activated. I guess I could have just talked to them, but I wanted the drama. So that's how it is. It seems all of our Burmy are indeed... Well, Burmy! All three of them! So you're saying that Pokemon of the same species can come in forms as different as these? How incredible! I guess that means we were all in the right! Looks like we wasted our breath arguing. Jeez, well I'm sorry I was so harsh to both of you. No, no, I'm just as much as fault. But really, this whole escape had has taught us a lot about Pokemon. I'm truly glad. I do apologize for getting a little heated back there too, but it all turned out well in the end. And sorry for getting you caught up in our mess. You did a great job clearing up our confusion. Now then, I'm feeling fired up to learn even more about Pokemon. If you find any other curious Pokemon, we'd love to hear about them. And let's see. No other missions. Then off to the gate we go. Because while I was hunting Unknown, I discovered that there is an activatable at the little fairy cove. So if we wait until night, go there... Maybe we'll be able to activate it. Unless the game really is like, no, you have to wait for actual full moon, which it's possible, but we might as well test it since it's nice and quick and all. Also, funnily, since we're going to be heading towards the Coronet Highland, well, not Coronet, the Alabaster Snowfields or whatever, we're going, <laughs> funnily enough, it's like my brain is just smooshing. We're actually getting snow here. Hilariously, right around the time that the groundhog said six more weeks of winter. Which is extra terrible, because I live in Texas. We've been having to put on heaters and drip the faucets just to ward off the evil demons that would like to burst our water pipes. Because when you live in Texas, it gets... Uh, oh, hey. Goomy. I also, I think I completed those guys. Uh, like the Toxic Croak. I'm going completely the wrong way. but Well, not completely the wrong way, but a decently the wrong way. And see, I still love the look of this game. I like how simple it is in graphically. That way when something like the rain textures and the snow textures, and then that, they really stand out. Just, I really like it. I really like it. We will probably have to avoid the Alpha Clefable, but, eh, what you gonna do? Yeah, because there was a Investigate button. Over here. Uh, Investigate. Come back when the full moon is out. Damn you, fireman. And I don't see. Uh, we'll go to the mountains. See if we can glance around for the full moon. Ah, ah come on. That's a perfect stargazing mountain place. Because we came at nightfall. Because I think the moon comes from over there. But it's, uh, it's <laughs> And the thing is, this is an investigation that I want to do on stream. Like, I don't want this to be like a do off stream, because this could be a thing. And last time I was like, I'll do a kind of time-consuming but sort of important 
stream thing off stream, record it, and then come back and show it on stream, which I guess I could do more, like, since I... <laughs> this would be far easier than the frickin' uh, legendary dogs. And, uh... It would just be a bit easier and all. Hmm. It honestly feels like it's getting lighter out, not darker, even though we went at nightfall. Hmm, I guess we could, uh, check. It does say that it is nighttime. Let's see. What's here? Oh. I keep forgetting that Heracross can pop out. Hell. I just can't bloody see the moon. Until nightfall again. Maybe I'm just not understanding the rest system decently. Moon. Where's the moon? I dislike the time system a little bit. I guess the only thing I could really do is wait until nighttime. And, like, that's the one thing. The time for, like, waiting things, like, waiting for the distortion fields to solidify. Waiting for the time to be right. There's a wisp. Wisp, 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 wisp. Wisp, 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 wisp. Off to find the wisp. Yeah, let's see. Need to beat you with a ghost type move. Or we could uh, catch you. Ah, but we're. I can do that easily. Else time. Spirit! Seven wisps. Oh, yeah, I forgot. No, no, no. We're gonna look at. We have 71 of 100, whatever. That's pretty decent. Because there's gonna be guaranteed 20 in the final area of uh, the Alabaster Highlands, Snowlands, Snowfield of Doom. Yeah, I wish we could just get out at the actual nighttime. Let the moon be out. Because this is what it feels like it would be evening for, and that is not a full moon. But, uh, because I think it wants a full moon out, but might as well super diddly see what it has to say, since the moon is kind of out. Ah, that's probably why it was hidden by the space-time rift by the angle I was at, maybe. Kind of silly. Well, we're just gonna see if the game is just like, nope, nope, it has to be an actual. Oh, screw you. Let me go forth without thinking to the fairy spring. Who needs to think when you're after fairies? Chasing fairies is the premium don't think everything of the world. Back when the full moon is out. So that's going to be RNG to high hell.
Especially because sometimes it feels like the sun doesn't come out. <laughs> or the, the moon doesn't come out. And now we need to accomplish basically 10,000. Let's return to the village and then head to the Alabasta Snowfields. Prim and proper. And then we can go after the Clefairy Doomsday Dibbity Dop. Later. Onwards. Ah, ice lands, not snowfields. Eh, yeah. Half a dozen one, six of other. Alabaster snowfields. Let's go. Let's -a go. Ghost Wisp. Alabaster Icelands. And a cabin. There's a cabin over there. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these Alabaster Icelands apart from Tauhua leading the Odd Supply Corps excursion to gather materials. But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalug, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, this mission to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Irida and Adamant to try and keep yourself safe. Neon, brisk out here, isn't it? How aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a thing, even thing, does exist, it's certainly not almighty Sinnoh. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. <laughs> We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is... You're talking about the Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalog's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice would I have meant when I said we'd be headed somewhere even colder? Where else, indeed? Ready to go, Neon? Sure, stomp off without me! This is why I can't stand people only care about whether time is passing them by. See you at Avalog's legacy, Neon. Take care on your way. Spirit, 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 spirit. Oh, there was a Pokemon there for a moment. Oh, a palm up here. Neat. Huh. Wonder what the hell would be from here. What are you? What are you? I don't know what you evolve into. Darn, it died. But if it- hopefully it's not a rare spawn that comes out of nowhere. Note to self, have Sneasel beaten charge for a amount of this because we're gonna want to throw a bunch of false swipes out. <gasps> Snoran! Snow run, snow run, snow run. Let's see. Giving it food and capture without being spotted. Lead ball. Oh, ice cave. That's gonna be fun. Ow.
here. Have food, my friend. I don't think he took the food. Profound sadness. In fact, we should probably take a look at the We'll want to take a look at the map to see. We could probably climb, but there's an ice cave here. So let's see. Okay, there's a cavern and there's just lots. And a single request. Snow Point Temple. And that must be the other definitive lake of the Didvididi. The lake trio. We'll have to be on the lookout because the final bit of the unknown will be out here. You. Hmm, this is another give food and pop out of uh, deposits Pokemon. Idea what they evolve into, so that'll be interesting. This is what happens when you're out of practice when it comes to Pokemon. You run across Pokemon and you're just like, well, I have no idea what you're supposed to be. <laughs> ah, more ghosts. When will the snow ghosts come out, though? Ah, this is probably the ice rock. I wonder if you actually can evolve Eevees by being around the ice rock. Oh. My bad. Yes, yes, a palm. Ah. Yawn. Be gone, Hunter. Swinub. Use food and catch without being spotted. Better get to it before your big brother gets there. Let's take a look at you. A few grass type moves, eh? We'll fight you. We'll defeat you. Hello there, loading personality. We've decided to venture on into the new area the Alabaster Iceland. See what else the game has to offer before we go on to super grind mode. With the Pokedex, the unknown, and the wisps. There's so much to do and I love it. Alright. We'll get ready to feed this darling Swinub. So that would be nice and happy and want to come along and be my friend. Done it. I do not have practice with the heavy balls. Understandable. What's that? Ah, there's bunnery out here. And just normal bunnery. Doesn't look like a regional variant. Interesting. And there's just tons of Swinubs out here. Okay. 
try to catch you. So that... It's like it's like, ah, keep you to the left side of me. And hopefully that'll do good. Come to me. Woot. Just gotta catch them all. That's the one glorious thing about this game. It really puts into perspective... <gasps> okay, angry Glalie. Oh boy. Not so angry Glalie. Alright, there's a snow runt. Another feed Pokemon catch without being seen type for research. There you go, snow runt. Get that delicious food. And then come and get into my pocket. Now we're going to try and get that Glalie. Or at least take a look and see what would be needed for Glalie to increase its Pokedex information. Ah, we can still see. Uh, Alpha defeated with Steel-type moves. Do I even have Steel-type moves? And stun it with items. Well, let's see. But then let's see, do I even have any Steel-type moves readily available? Steel-type is the one that I've pretty neglected. I think I'd got somebody eye and tail, but I'm not sure if they're currently in the party or not. Who knows eye and tail? Because I think I, like, had Iron Tail on an early Pokemon. I'm just like, oh, I'm never going to use Iron moves that much, I guess. And now here we are. Lamenting much in pain. Well, all in all, can't wait until I find a Lucario. Definitely. The real question is then, well, then I'd have a lot of fighting type on my team. Far humbug, no iron tail. Or other steel moves. And let's see. What other. It's mostly. Yeah, most of it has to be with you. Just to beat him up, let's see. Huh, that worked. Wow, that worked. Since we don't have iron moves, we'll just have to go into... Ah, it's asleep, it looks like. If it's asleep... Then I can get a leaden ball off. Alpha Pokemon are freaking scary. Oh, hey. Uh, around. Yes. I want to get a stun off and uh, beat you up. Well, I guess stunning wouldn't have done much because we also want to see you use moves. But I don't want you to annihilate my Pokemon. So let's see how you deal for Max Punch. It's just going to die now. Oh well, too bad we don't have an uh, iron type move. Or well, steel move. That'd be kind of weird. Welcome into Pokemon. You see how many people love. Oh, what, what, what wants to fight? What wants to fight? What? Not you. You're not coming after me. What wants my soul? 
I don't see anything. I guess... Okay, a bit odd, but let's see. Oh! Oh? Oh? There was a Glalie in there for some reason. Okay... I guess. Huh. That's a terrifying move. Why you get to go and move twice? It was very rude to move twice. Didn't even use an agile move. Once again, I say they really need to work on that bit. Where for whatever reason... It's like... Isn't... It's like they calculate the speed, oddly. And it's like, oh, well, this Pokemon's going to do this move. But it doesn't really matter. Because the Pokemon can do any move. Like, I don't know how they calculate the movement thingy. Because there, unless I'm just blind as a bat, blind as a Zubat, it should have been like, oh, it'll only do this. But man, there's so much to explore. Love it. But yeah, just seeing Pokemon double move out of nowhere is odd. You'll never take me alive! Ooh, Obama Snow. At least I think. Oh, you're fast. And I shall beat you up. Ooh, I like the design of this model. How they've designed Glalie. Ah, it's burned. Annihilate him! And now heal my poor boy, as he was getting annihilated by a blizzard. A blizzard of entertainment. We'll sneak up on the Obama Snow, see what it has to say in the Pokedex. Oh, well, that's not very nice at all. So, defeat the fire-type moves, and then just see it use moves. I'll wait for it to use a move. And then smack it from behind. The perfect stratagem. Flame wheel. And then it'll be caught off guard. And then flame wheel again. angry with me. Oh, you are. You killed my father! And this one is also a defeat with fire-type moves Pokemon. Very interesting. I don't know why. We didn't get the stun off, but it shouldn't be that bad. So much that I want to explore. And there's a request up there. This seems like the biggest area in the game so far. I just realized. Gig! What? Okay, so we're standing atop a cave. Network. And of course, Bibral are here. Just look at the size of that waterfall. Too bad we can't go up it. Love it. Ooh, this music.
This is good music. Let's see. We've caught one of you, but we need to destroy you if ground type moves. Okay, that's my bad. I didn't get the stun off. Oh, well. Kill him, Akuma. He hurts my feelings. And again. Oh. You want to fight. Well, I don't want to fight you, you... Jerk. I dare you just come up on me and be like, I want to fight, instead I'll kill you. I love the music. That, like, noticeable twangy bass. Too bad the music gets interrupted by my combat. Ah, since, uh, it's gonna go twice anyway, with one of them being stunned. Let's try and ensure that we kill him. What was that? Oh, it must have been Electabuzz. This music! It's so good! Props to the composers and musicians of this brilliant game. I love it. Ah, uh, another etching. Let's see. Manaphy. Uh, a car? I have no idea what that one is. Palkia something. I'm going to say Braviary. Chrysalia. And that's Cleaver. Giratina! That has to be Giratina. But then that also kind of looks Giratina-ish over there as well. But that one looks more Giratina. And then Reggie. Reggie Gigas. It's really cool coming across the etchings. Ooh, Frozen Falls. There should be an unknown at the Frozen Falls. I believe. I don't want to dig through my hint diddly. Well, not hint, but the built-in game unknown hint that I translated from unknown. There you are. Yep. Wow, you're actually... This is the type of thing that I would have investigated on my own regardless. Meanwhile, you want to know where one of the unknown were? Just on a random frickin' twig tree in one of the bogs of the Mirelands. The unknown placement is very... Okay, hello, Crobat. The low frame rate flying Pokemon amuse me so much. And, like, it's not, like, a bad kind of low frame rate. It's a... We... That is an Alpha Lucario, but I want to raise a Rialu. I want to, I want to bap me, baby, all to my own and raise. But uh, we could try and uh, get this one under control. You go over there. Yes. Naruto run. Go, Legend Vault. Darn it. I didn't get a back strike, so it's gonna break out. <laughs> oh, we got him! Neat! 
Oh, dear God, he would have annihilated us. Oh, bappy baby. I want a Rialu. I want a Rialu to raise as my own. Dear baby boy. And then we can become a uh, Lucario. All right, there was a scream of rage. A very noticeable scream! What is that? I am now worried! It's entirely possible that it was a... No, it is very much still here. And we're nowhere near the story area. What is that noise? I'm not, I don't know the Pokemon cries by heart. What is that noise? What Pokemon is it? Yes, Gibble. <gasps> oh. I really need to raise a Gibble into a Garchomp. But I'm gonna assume you're what's making all the bloob. Hullabaloob. Dear me, oh my, yeah, that's most definitely the... I don't wanna know what that was. This probably leads into, yeah, the fog land, so there probably isn't going to be a Pokemon here. Nope. But it sounded like it came from over here. Well, what level are you? Level 22. No. Yeah, this is fair. What? Oh, Dusclops. I hope! That that is the frickin' Garchomp Alpha. Screed me? Oh. Oh, hey. A Blissey. We don't have, we haven't caught a Blissey yet. Go get it. goes on my leaden balls. Wait. Uh. Okay, I guess... I just saw, like, a yellow arrow, I think. Or I saw something out of the corner of my eye on my Pokemon and thought was like, wait, is that an evolution available? Nope, doesn't look like it. I'm surprised by the number of a palm that are up here, and ambi palm. What is that mansion? Let's see. That mansion is might be where that is. That seems to be an arena. Yeah, arena's approach. So I wonder what. Ay ay ay. <gasps> soul, 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 soul. I see a wisp, I go. Thank you, Sneasler. Best, <laughs> best mount Pokemon. And while it doesn't have a dash speed that's better than mine, because it can't dash. It does have a walk speed that's better than mine. Hello, Blissey. Hmm. What a 
what that is. If it's just like a shine on the ice texture or what. That interests me. I'm gonna... Yeah, that just looks to be the shine of an ice texture. But now I'm interested at this... It's like, I love the design of this area. This is just super cool. Pun not really intended. I do think it is legitimately cool. Avalog's legacy? Ah, so they... Oh, so this is the... Oh, yeah, I don't have uh, the story beats open right now. Let's see. Remember, you've seen I have ore deposits, defeated, pot and stuff. Well, I guess I'll continue the story. Since we're right here, and this place interested me. Soul. Soul, 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 soul. Ah, oh, there's the Pearl Clan houses over there. Super neat. Who are you? Well, that was a real slog, fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. This gentleman is Avalog's warden and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. So show some respect, Adamon. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I am Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be Neon, right? Of the Galaxy Team. Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalog? Ag hmm. Well, we can only assume he's going to be in a frenzy. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? It could trouble others. Then I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? To quell his frenzy. Because all other frenzies have seemed to be bad for the Pokémon. Almighty Lord of Tundra Alvalog has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokémon! Sir, please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalog's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear of that such colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are. There's certainly some logic to that. But if that is what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get to battling. Let's start. <laughs> I was like, let's start. Let's not. My musculature is as hard and unyielding as ice. Think you can break through? Depends on the ice. Some ice is really brittle. Some ice is really strong. Well, Gyarados is probably going to get annihilated because he's water... Well, maybe... Oh. That's not going to be good for me at all. And he gets to go first. All right. Crunch! Baha, you missed! And Frostlass didn't do much. We'll take the chance. Twister! Ah, didn't do much. Crunch the Glalie! Man, Gyarados is really pulling weight here. But come back, we'll finish this with Infernape. Well, that might have been a bad idea, maybe. 
I, for, I don't know what Frostlight... Well, Frostlight is a low level. Flame Wheel. Well, at least we ran into a Frostlass. I am a mighty warrior! Mightier than you! Outstanding! I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. I suppose you can all get on with it now. This one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Neon, but I'll vouch for her. And then if you insist on quelling Avalog's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of the, al the eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need braviary. Long story short, you've got to seek out a young lady named Sabby. Tell the, tell the long, uh, long story long. You're not saving any time if we waste it puzzling about what you mean. Isn't Avalog one of the Pearl Clan's lords? Seems a bit hard for me to do the talking. But fine, listen up. This eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalog's legacy here. But to get that, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneasler can climb this surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach it by air, with Braviary's help. Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalog's legacy, I'll have you know. He s says he made it to within six feet of the top. Might make Strider at least height. And, uh, about Sabby. How do I put this? Even when she's not flying with Braviary, she's got her head in the clouds. Well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards Snowpoint Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Sabby! That's a pretty birdie. My clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you meant about Sabby, but why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabby, and let me focus on my workout while I still can. I love that, that kind of talking animation. Alright. What's the rub? Hello, my name's Sabby. Nice to meet you, Neon. Hmm. Hmm. Pleasure's all mine. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want Braviary's help so you can quell Avalog's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. Let's go, Braviary! How do I catch you when I can't fly? <laughs> catch up to Sabby. Alright, we'll need to actually activate the, the mission. Which is... Ah, now she's all the way in Whiteout Valley. <laughs> Aha! Another wisp for the claiming. At the very least, if I get Braviary, it should help with the searching for wi- You popped in, you bastard! <laughs> the Alpha Glalie just, like, said, Hello! I'm here to destroy you. Wisps, wisps, wisps galore. Ah, uh, uh, they didn't even heal my Pokemon that time. Garrick was quite rude. You're supposed to heal my Pokemon. My poor bleeding Pokemon. Lots of cliffs. Well, I know what's called Whiteout Valley. Plenty of people probably died here. Hello again. Neon! 
You made it all the way up here in this cold. But the question is, did you catch me or did I let myself get caught? Hmm? Ooh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? Hunt, no idea. Um, no one um, but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. But the real question is here is, am I really having fun playing with you or am I bored? Hmm? I don't know. Wish that we could actually see her take off with Braviary, but I guess there might be a purpose to that. Maybe technology wise. At the same time, I kind of want to explore. Look for more wisps. Ah, there's a wisp over there. It'll be a little ish ish to get to, but I. Up. Our twilight's dwindling. Here, wispy wispy, don't go away in the morning light. Wispy. Woot woot. But I guess first things first. Oh, there's no points all the way up there, so we're kind of going where I want to go anyway. We're going to get that request, which will probably be the... Hey, can you help us build the... The dibbity dobbity do blah boom blah bing But at the same time, I really want to search out... Rialu's. Ah, uh, you're not what I want at all. Ah, uh, let's just get out of here. You're not worth killing. The real question is, where the hell would Rialu be? Because... Oh, hey, an Eevee! Okay. Didn't expect to see an Eevee here. Kind of makes sense in a way. I didn't... <laughs> I wasn't looking for Eevee, so I didn't expect him to be ready to catch one. Arena's approach, which is probably Mr. Big Bastard's arena. What's oh, this plant? Ah, sand radish. Hmm. Hot spring. Well, lots of Pokemon white. Hmm. There was a mention of a hot spring in one of the unknown hints. The thing is, there's so much, like, kind of dark and uh, white that it's kind of difficult to pick out if something could be an unknown. Well, that better not be for me where my... where I'm supposed to go. That'd be very rude. Let's see. A dead tree by the hot spring. That is the hint. Well, there's a lot of trees. So one of them probably holds. Okay, we might as well have it pop out. save you. It only delays the inevitable. Alright. 
right? Dead tree by the snow, uh, the hot spring, not snow spring. Dead tree hot spring. And considering I can be veritably... Oh, I thought that was... A, I guess either we already did it. One of these holds... Unknown. And I can be veritably blind when it comes to unknown. Because they're such simple shapes. You'd think that you'd be like, I can spot an unknown. No. The answer is no. Dead tree by the hot spring. Should have been here. Hibbledy gibble. All right, one of these trees holds the bloody unknown. Dead tree by the hot spring. Maybe I should stay in Sneezler's basket because it kind of helps me see a little bit. Ah, oh, there you are, you bastard. Woot woot. All right. Now we'll go up to the secondary base it probably will be. Even though I really want to find a Rialu. Wow, that space-time distortion like, solidified fast. Much faster than all the ones that I'd ever been in. I had to wait literal minutes. Oh, what? I can't go up to this one? Okay, fine. But I want to find a Rialu. And then I'll train up Rialu, Gabite, and maybe something else. Because I want a super team of Pokemon that I like. Oh, and then I have to make room for Zorua. Because uh, Zorua and Zoroark are going to be in this area. Uh, oh, I can get into that cave. I'm going to go into that cave. Huh? Oh, you're right here. I thought it would be up and over the mountain. When is Craig ever going to show up? He's probably behind the rocks. Hello. I came to set up another base camp, but I can't spy Craig from the construction core. I told him to meet me near the base of the falls here at Alabaster Iceland. So where is he? He's not the type to usually get lost, so I'm a bit honestly worried. Do me a favor. Would you find Craig for me? And since we know... Setting up the Ice Peak camp. Nope. No hints. He's probably totally behind that. I wonder if only... Rock Smash Pokemon can do it. Alright, see. Sneasel, break open the rocks. No, any Pokemon can. Neat. Secret Hollow? I heard that. That was a jingle. There was a jingle. And it's still daytime. Yet it appeared in the cave. That's interesting. I heard that jingle again. Ah, you're over here. You're in the wrong place. 
One of the Survey Corps, aren't you? Well, this is fortuitous. Have you seen Bryce about? Bryce from the Supply Corps. He's the one who told me to meet him at the base of the falls, yet he hasn't showed up. He's over there. What? You say he's on the other shore, across the river? I'm glad you came around, or I might have been waiting here till I turn into a block of ice. I'll hurry off to find Bryce, then so we can set up the camp. Woot woot. Brr, it's cold as a cub chew snout snot out here. How do you pearl how do those Pearl Clan people stand it? Boy do I owe you for finding Craig for me. Now we can finally set things up. Even though they don't have any supply boxes. They just have all the materials with them. Somewhere. And here you have it, our newest base camp. Stop by any time you need. <laughs> Goodness, I don't know how the Pokemon living in this frigid place find the energy to dash about as they do. Do they have a nice layer of insulating fat, perhaps? That must have be some trick to it. And another. Let me, do you want me to find Craig again? It's so cold, I can't even feel my fingers. I can't work like this. I just want to earn my way throughout the ranks. But to do that, I've got to at least warm myself up enough to feel my fingers. Do you think you could bring me a Pokemon that's good at manipulating flames? Then it could keep our fire roaring for me. I can give you a Ponyta. I'm not going to give you an Alpha. Ah, Vulpix. A nice Vulpix should do for you. I'm already feeling much warmer thanks to this Pokemon of yours. Now I can focus on my work. Though, now that I'm so warm and comfortable, I seem to uh, find my eyelids drooping. Just, just, uh... God, no, no, I wasn't sleeping, I swear. And full store and a large experience thingy. All right, well, first things first. We'll put things away, because, wow, we actually filled up our inventory. Oh, oh, Snowball. What do you do? Ah, it's just another distraction. Smack a Pokemon up the head. Watch them scream. to see my Pokemon, because I want to add a Gibble. But I don't know who I'm going to replace. Honestly, probably you right now. No, I don't want to release. Definitely not going to release my Alpha Lopunny. Yeah, I just did a lot of unknown searching. do a thing because we can quick move no, I don't want to release the unknown I like this feature it really helps Don't want to release my unknowns. Ah, oh, darn it.
There we go. Yeesh. Now I just need to find Gibble. And decide who I'm going to... Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Gibble, Gibble, Gibble. We should have a good Gibble here somewhere. I know that I caught one, but it's probably going to be mixed up all over the place. Ah, here's a Gibble. Come on and join the team. And then I don't know who Lucario slash Rialu will. Pseudo replace. Because we found... Maybe if we go to the avalanche. Because I want to... Ooh, Lake Acuity. More. Mm. Love the music. The music in this game. It doesn't always, like, recognize in my brain that good music is playing. But when it hits... Love it. Love the music while exploring. It's wonderful. Just this wonderful music. Too bad so many Pokemon. Oh, hey. Is it really nighttime? No, it's, I guess, maybe evening. But I have got to find Rialu. Because I want to do as much as possible leveling up a Rialu. Because I do have that Alpha Lucario. But I want Rialu. Let's see. We should be able to make it to the top, maybe. Unless that's... Fog. Nope. Probably won't let me go up. Can't go any further. Way to mountain. I should be able to go up mountain. What the? Oh. I thought you were running on the water. No, it's a rufflet. <laughs> Lot of angry rufflet. Hey, a Curlia. And an Alpha Gardevoir. Okay. Huh. Hearts Crag. Yeah, that's terrifying. We're gonna go up there. Let's get away. Away! Away! Decent amount of them. Only two left. Woot. Finding the unknown in this area is far more forgiving than other areas. But Hearts Crag, what are you? Like, what are you supposed to be? all over. They just can't find me. We're running from that. Yeah, we're definitely getting out of here because we're being double teamed.
Let's see. What do we need to do for you? Eh, just to defeat you. But do we have any electric moves available? I think I taught one of you an electric move. Wait, I gave you Thunderbolt, actually. Why did I never get rid of Splash? All right, Gyarados, annihilate this fool. It thought it could get in our way. Well, oh, that was very rude. Thunderbolt. Let's see, is there anything about food? Nope, it's just see it do moves and catch it. Kill it, see moves, catch. And it'll be added. I just want to find Rialu up in here. I already found my beloved Sneasel. Because I'm always happening for some Sneasel. Hello. Even Irida must have her doubts about how best to lead the Pearl Clan. Everyone has doubts. All oh, this space is mine! Well, my space is bigger! These people are insane. Cleaver and the other noble Pokemon will show over and protect us humans. Will Pokemon like Ursaluna let us ride them and take us far and wide across the Sui? But did you know that these Pokemon are all descendants of the ten companions of the ancient hero of legend? Well, if they're ten companions, why isn't the legal limit ten Pokeballs? They say Almighty Sinnoh watches over us from somewhere beyond the skies. Maybe more literal than you imagine. After draining to Hisui from across the sea, our ancestors met Almighty Sinnoh in this place. That is why the Pearl Clan decided on this location for our own. Ah, so, yep, my initial thing of, like, these two idiots are just worshipping Palkia and Dialga. And it's because they met legendary Pokemon and were like, these are, th this is it. It doesn't get better than this. It does. They just haven't met Arceus. Alright, I know there's a hole. I'm looking for that hole again. That hole that leads down? Yeah, that's the hole. I want to go into the hole. To the hole! I should heal my Pokemon. You know, before they fucking keel over and die. Because I want to explore as much as possible. I'm not scared of you. Ah! Look at these pillars. I'm going to grab this. Yoink. Oh. <gasps> Mostravius? Yes. Let's see. Give it food. Catch without being spotted. Nope, it spotted me. I failed. I have failed everyone. Hopefully must... Ah, there's another one. A bunch of them. Oh, I thought that was a berry. And then I can try and level that up into the po- Oh, unless this is the one. Is this the one? 
Maybe we don't need the evolved version. Yep, it's just this one. Woot! Is that an apalm or what? Give it food and catch it at night. Oh, oh well. Darn you, invisible wall! Well, yeah, what are you? <gasps> it's the one, 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 my team, my baby! It's my baby! Yeah! It's my team, it's my baby! Now I'm gonna have to make room for you. I'll have to see what type you are to probably decide who is getting replaced. Maybe Gyarados at this point, even though Gyarados is kind of an all-rounder water flying. Hey, just look at these pillars, man. And then you can climb out, but there's another area that I want to explore down here. Explore everywhere, because if Zoro is down, what's that? Is that a Pokemon or is that objects? What is that? Object or Pokemon? Hello, welcome to everyone's favorite ball game. What the hell is the Ice Rock? So this is where you can evolve a Pokemon, uh, uh, like, uh, if you, maybe if you don't want to use an Ice Stone, you could use the Ice Rock, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I saw that, I'm just like, it could be anything. We can't, you can't be too careful, it could be an evil Pokemon, what in my soul? No, it was just a rock. But Grant, considering that some Pokemon literally are rocks... Eh. We might have to give away Sneasel to bring Zoroa in. And I still want to find... Still want to find myself. Maybe this way. Maybe we can climb some of these rocks, Maybe or maybe... It's possible that once they get to this level of uh, stuff, they're like, No, sorry, please don't climb them. Because we could climb Heart's Crag, but then they kind of... So... Let's go this way. Because there seems to be a small indent that we should be able to climb a bit. But they expect you to climb. Because I just want to find a reality, man. Nope, can't go there. The fact that it gets super, like, PlayStation 1 dark up there is terrifying. You go where you're not supposed to go, and the game is just like, You have entered the PDA Station 1 Silent Hill Zone. Please, turn away. But I gotta find myself a Rialu. I already have an Alpha Lucario, but I don't want that. I want a Rialu. So that way we can have Gibble... We can have Rialu, we can have Zoroa, I need to... Note to self, after exploring this cave, a me... Oh no, we've already went through this cave. Okay. Then we're going to quickly just go down to this one. We're going to swap out Pokemon. I want to see my Pokemon, because... I guess I could put full swipe back on you... And swap off our uh, aura sphere, but mm, I don't know. What moves do you know, Gibble? He knows Dragon Claw. Considering, wait, slash a physical attack to charge and slams him for the whole body. Power, forty. Oh, okay. Slash is better than tackle, so we're gonna put Dragon Claw in place of tackle. Good job, Gibble.
but Zoroa, 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 my baby normal ghost. Normal ghost? That seems contradictory. Uh, but I would lose my dark expert. But uh, Gyarados could cover that, I guess. After I gave you so many moves, too. Oh, well. That's what happens when you're like, I'm gonna go do that. And then you don't. You fail. Come along, my baby boy. And then, once we get Rialu, I... For a moment, I thought that lantern was an unknown. Don't mind me, I'm just being stupid. <laughs> Don't mind me, it's just me, the idiot. Can you really blame me? Some of these unknown really blend in and I'm really dumb sometimes. Did we... Oh, that's really far off. It looks close, but it's super far off. I want to find a Rialu. That is my my rallying cry for this for this recording session stream. Is nah, but I want a Rialu. That's cool and all, but Rialu. Speaking of things, I should nickname some of my more Pokemon. Now that we have so many Pokemon that aren't nicknamed. Gibble, Dragon. Hmm. Dragon Ground. I know. I shall call you Spyro. The best dragon. Gyarados. Flying water dragon. Hmm. Ah, oh, but what? This is what I... I haven't... I think the dragon's name from... Uh, that new... What's its name? The Disney movie where there's the one of the main characters is a dragon. I think her name is Risu? I don't know. But what should we name you? My poor ghost normal child. What moves do you know? Shadow Sneak. Bitter Malice. Attacks the target of Spine Chilling Resentment. This may also leave the target a Frostbite. This move's power is doubled if the target has a status condition. Okay, that's pretty decent. And then Snarl. So that's a good dark move. And wait, what's uh, what's Shadow Sneak? Extends its shadow and attacks the target from behind. Raises the user's action speed. And I will put do away with Swift. So yeah, you have decent moves, I'd say. Me, the person. But what should we name you? Ghost Normal Zoroa. I shall call you Valor. We'll probably have to wait until actual daylight time to find any, more likely. But I do want me some uh, Rialu. It's an angry. It's an angry boy! He's an angry man! Nope. Nope. I climb away. I climb, climb away. I refuse. And is it just me or is that further away? Like, I remember it being like right smack dab on top of Mount Coronet. But it's possible that we were actually on top of Mount Coronet as well, so... Tibbly jibbly. Ow. I want that Ella kid. Yes, it does mean that we're going... Did 
Just keep looking away, Alpha Electrobots. Dang it. Why must you protect your children? They should be my children. And what are you? Oh. It was a Neely. <gasps> oh, hello. Please don't try and kill me. It's a normal Lucario. Hello. Yes, it's me. Lucario. Defeat with fire moves. I already have an alpha one of you. Sorry, Lucario. We must beat you up now. For science, you monster. You would have been spared if you were a Rialu. Because I just want to raise one. Adorable child to be raised into a weapon of aura. And what is trying to attack me? So yeah. Oh, now he's angry. Maybe because I broke the honor code? I broke the bro code. Do not attack somebody from behind. Too bad, I do it again. You psycho cut! Cut the psycho. Oh, they both can evolve! Well, that was fast. Valor was not a uh, Zorua for long. Spyro was not a Gibble for long. Evolve, Spyro! Into a legend! Not yet, though, because there is that secondary form. And then you become a legend at Guard Chomp. Into a Gabite. Yeah, we might as well evolve you as well. I thought it would evolve at level 40. No, just right in there. We didn't get to use you in battle because I'd be too afraid to use you against anything. Now you look badass. Woot woot. Let's see. What are we going to do? We could catch you. That's probably the best thing to do. Catch. And that would open the way to the Elekid. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to abduct this guy's kid. It's not my fault. Let's see. Giving it food and catch while doing things. Couldn't risk getting too close to the alpha, ruining my catch. And the day really is opening up, so... Hopefully I'll run into some... Hopefully catch you. Darn you. I want to catch you, so uh, we also need to catch an bomb of snow then. I guess it saw me. Get food. Don't mind me. I'm your friend. That's why I stabbed you in the back. <laughs> it's me, your best friend. Starscream. Uh, 
But I really want to find a Rialu. Because there is no breeding in this game, so I can't just pair up a Lucario with something else to get me a Rialu. Huh, another hole. Well, on we go. That hurt. Wish we were ice skating. Just look at these giant pillars of ice. More Mastrevis. And a giant Alpha Frost Lass. Let's see. Give it food and catch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Give it food and then maybe defeat it. Right, won't do good for you. Because. Oh. Uh, Risu will probably destroy you. Time for you to die! I gave you food, and now I take your soul! Eat it! Tricky business. Guess I fell off the bloody blood blood. Oh, that worked. Yeah, there was no way I was going to be able to fight a 12 level advantage alpha Pokemon. Just look at these. What the? I almost missed you. I almost missed you, you bastard. And you just be here in a cave. Let me go to my hints. Does it even say anything about you? Dead tree? Or did you? Let's see. Scale the Frozen Falls did that. Did it eat the unusual stone staring out across the snowfields did that. Da, 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 da. Three pillars in a world of ice. Okay, yeah, I should probably I completely forgot about that one. Three pillars in a world of ice. One, two. This one doesn't even have three pillars in here! It's only two pillars! What lies? Well, get in the ball. Let's see, how many does that make now? A shiny stone. Let's see. Only one. Gaze down from atop the feature, uh, the greatest glacier. Legacy. Glacial legacy. So yeah, next we're gonna be probably Avalog, at the top of Avalog Diddly. Avalog's legacy. Alright, we're almost done with the unknowns. I just want a Rialu. Hmm. Since we've been running into Lucario's, I'm having... Because we haven't run into a Rialu, so we can't look at the information of where they might be. Why couldn't Garrick have had a Rialu partner? Let's see. <laughs> Tasks unreported. 69. Let's, let's see. Lucario. Nope. Ah, Lucario. Nope. 
Don't know anything about it. It's Rialu. But at least I got the Alpha Lucario. So I don't have to worry about that. I just long to find... an aura child to train. That sounds... <coughs> Excuse me. I heard a cry that I did not... No, just another re Lucario. Another l Liberty Lub. Hmm. We already have it activated, so let's see. Defeat it with fire type moves. I'll destroy you. Flame wheel. Critical hit. That was vastly unnecessary. We fought fair and square. I do wonder where, because it has to be a place where Lucario and Rialu more regularly show up. Hopefully. Ow. Interesting music. I think we already went down that cavern. Hey, a glam meow. And a snantler. Maybe on our way to the temple, we'll find some Lucarios and Rialus. Because I already found the odd Lucaria here. Surely we'll run across more reoccurring. Oh, this music! I love it! Ah, another Sneasel. Angry, angry Sneasel. And the final... The final lake. And a Chimeku. Oh, a an Alpha! Chimeku. So yeah, this is the final emotion lake. With the, I wonder if the lake trio are like underneath these giant rocks. Because I mean, I don't remember there being giant rocks in pearl, platinum, and diamond. But maybe I'm just being stupid. I hate within it. I'm just trying to mildly adjust the camera, but because I'm on a legendary, the game is like. Yank! Yanks my camera. Well, that's definitely a stone temple, all right. And what do we need to just do? Ghost type moves. And what level are you? 52. I don't have a good ghost type user on me right now because. Valor is still leveling up and would probably be destroyed by you. You know any ghost moves? Love the music in this game. Well, he knows Shadow Claw. So we could annihilate them. Love the music. Do 
you have been caught unawares. Your friends leave you to die, so die. And this is why we're using Robin for this and not Valor. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Thank you for taking the tree over everything else. Lots of angry Pokemon out today. I kind of want to... This place is huge. I basically went everywhere and I've yet to find a Rialu. Maybe they're in the building. Uh, can we not climb it? I want to climb it, though. Sneezlers wants to climb it. All right, let's head to the well first. I should be able to do fine. I guess Garrick with a shirt on. Nope, you're another dude. Hi again, Neon. It's nice having someone new out here to play with, safety in numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snowpoint Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored, hmm? I don't know. I never agreed to this, really. But who's the dude? I heard what Warden Sabby said. If you have Warden Sabby's approval to enter, then by all means do, but be warned. Those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far in. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of patterns on their chest, too. All right, chest patterns and where they're pointing. Oh, I can't just... I have to actually activate. Some things will never change in Pokemon. Press A to enter. But, uh, let's go. Chest patterns... Reggie Gigas! Ah, crap. Is this the thing... Okay. There's a rock pattern on the statue's chest. So we're gonna have to deal with the Reggies, maybe. We might have to deal with the Reggies. A rock pattern on the chest. Ice pattern. I don't want to fight you. But I will if I have to. <laughs> the moment I come in and I see those, I'm just like... Well, this is Reggie time. This is Reggie time. At least, hopefully, I don't have to learn, um, what's it called? Braille. To actually do it. Mm, the way that the statues face... So, Rock, Regirock, Regice, Registeel, all bowing before. Oh, another etching. But this one's kind of hard to see. Something, something, Palkia, Giratina, or Azelf. Oh, the Lake Trio. Manaphy, Arceus, something else. A steel pattern. Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel. It's been frickin' years since I played Platinum, so hopefully. Hopefully everything is nice and kind. Fucking wish the Brazong would get out of here. New moves for some.
And that's definitely a Reggie Gigas looking door. Don't want to fight you. Go away! Go away! Well, fine. Get out of my way. Wish that I could make repels. Oh, I don't have any... Huh, I thought... I thought you'd be weak to something I have here. Oh, well. Flash. That works. Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel. Rock, Ice, Steel. Rock, Ice, Steel. Reggie Rock. Reggie Steel. So, huh. There are three panels fitted into the door. Each panel has a pattern carved into it. There are faint traces. Wither the statue's gaze. Rock. Steel. Ice. Well, that was simple for that one. I wonder if I did the other one, if it would open up below. Because there was a door below. Hope I didn't miss- hope there isn't any miss missable content. I shudder at the fear of missable content. Alright. Reggie Ice. Reggie Rock. Reggie Steel. Two. Reggie Rock to Reggie Ice. Ice Rock Steel Rock Ice. Ice Rock Steel Rock Ice. All right, ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Puzzle galore. Steel, ice, rock, all right, steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock, steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock, steel, ice, rock, Ice. All right. Steel, ice, rock. Ice. Rock. Steel. Dang it. I got the last one wrong. Or like the... Steel, ice, rock. Steel, ice, rock. Ice, rock, steel. Ice, steel, rock. Steel, ice, rock. Steel, ice, rock. Ice, 
Yes, yeah, steel, ice rock, ice. Ay, ay, ay. So let's do it. All right. Steel. Ice. Rock. Then. Ice. Steel. Rock. There we go. Uh-oh, Alpha Gallade. Nope. What level are you? Level 70, please no. I made it. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something else. I saw you flying with Braviary. Do you think uh, that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does. Well, however the future turns out, flying with Braviary isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Gonna take us on? Yep. Now ready, now get ready, cause some, here come Rhyperior, Magmortar, and Electivire. All three of them. At the same bloody time, well you're gonna annihilate me a bit. Yep. Let's see. So. I doubt that you're going to survive all of them, so go hard. Okay, that got rid of Rhyperior at least. Alright, that's not bad. Yeah, interesting that you survived, my boy. Why do you go twice? It didn't say you would go twice. Oh yeah, I used uh, I guess it did because I used strong style. Me dumb. My my memory was is all used up. Now go Akuma, because you should be able to smack both of these fools. Let's see, 30 and 30. Bulldoze this Magmortar. What you gonna do? That doesn't work. Silly Electivire. Kill. I win. Woot woot. Wow, you caught us and you beat us. You've won all our games so far. But Braviary still wants to get to know you even better. Up to the roof we go. Blah, blah, blah. I did not expect to have three, like, of the uh, end dilly evolutions to be thrown at me like that. It was very rude. Very rude. But onwards we go. And then after that, I'm gonna dedicate myself to getting a Rialu on the team. For the final team to be created. Potentially. But, oh, then we should probably heal up my boys. They got beat up in there. 
They did a number on poor Robin. But he tanked him like a champ. Helps when you're, like, literally double the enemy's level. Take a quick glance around. Ooh. Can we go even in? I want to go in more. What's the purpose of this? That's interesting. Very neat. I wonder if we still will we meet any of the Reggies is the real question now. Grok Grok! Alright, Braviary. Why not test out Neon Strength for yourself? Level 54. Shadow Claw. Oh, that's very mean. My boy! And it killed itself, so Robin doesn't get any experience. Lol. Biggest lol. Grr, I can't believe Braviary lost. But that's that. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll head home now. Bye! Wait. I need to learn how to fly Braviary. I was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. Even though it's going to be the same tune. I already know how to play this song. That's the only song that I've been playing. Braviary opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. And now I get the flying plate. You received the Sky Plate from Braviary. Sky Plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of flight. When used on certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the flying type. Thanks, Sabby. Sure, having Neon to fly around with should be fun for Braviary. Yeah, I'm glad. A world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Tell me, why do you think the lightning that comes from the rift would cause these frenzies? Do you think this is Almighty Sinnoh's anger? Or do you think that it's a trial putting on us? If it is a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy and we quell the last noble, Kal Marvalog, then the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who've been living here in Hisui for ages now. How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamin. Hush, Sabby. I can feel history on the move. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you someday, I might get to meet Almighty Sinnoh myself. The question is, does lightning to Adamin fascinate you? Uh, listening to Adamin. Or bore you to tears, hmm? Anyway, Neon, it's time for you to go soar of Braviary. If you jump from way here, way up here, Braviary ought to take you gliding just about anywhere. But don't forget to get the eternal ice. That's why you needed Braviary in the first place, right? And now the world really will open up to us. Avalog's legacy is down there. Now go get a feel for flying with Braviary. When you're done soaring the skies and want to land, just ask him to dive. Oh yeah, and one thing that I just uh, remembered... Oh, after this. Soaring the skies with Braviary. With Braviary, you can fly up high into the sky and explore the different areas of Hisui from the air. You can summon Braviary using the plus button whenever you may be. And you can also press the A button if you're falling from some height to summon him in a flash. But while I was doing the various things of the world, before... Oh, do I... There we go, I have some revives. Off screen, I actually ran into one of the Misfortune Sisters just hanging out. 
in the Mire Marsh. All right. Awesome. Ah. Huh. This will be great for searching for wisps. Dive. Even if landing is a bit finicky. Yoink. So yeah, finding wisps will be super easy now. And the last uh, unknown should be Avalog's Legacy 2. Now let's see. Let's see. I'm going to check out the hot springs. Oh, and there's actually a pearl sediment thing I can do now. Oh, where's Woot Woot? I saw a decent, like, uh, stretch of Pokemon appear here last time. Nah, it's just the same, it seems. I guess I'll have to reload the area to try and get my beloved Rialu to spawn one of these days. I forgot that a giant Machop was here. I just need to look around. Oh! Whiz! Getting lots of wisps. Definitely makes traveling nice and somewhat easy. There's an bomb of snow. Yeah, so it seems that Braviary is more of a glide than anything. He does run out of gumption eventually. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yay! The team's soon all gonna be here. Interesting that the Rialu is like super high level. Woot woot! Alright, next we're going to go get that mission from the Pearl people. Then we're going to go. Set up a team, see what uh, back home has anything to say. And just go play it by ear. Hey, you're a member of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps, right? I've heard you're studying Pokemon and making some kind of book about them. Does that mean you're also studying my dear beloved Bergmite? Of course. What? I can't allow that. That means you'll know more about Bergmite than I do, right? I'm absolutely convinced that nobody loves or understands Bergmite more than I do. Once you've completed its entry in your book, come show it to me. As Bergmite's number one fan in all of Hisui, I'll make sure you haven't missed any details. 
All right. Let's see. Bergmite. I think it was like literally the first thing. Well, we'll have to see. It should be easy enough. Jesus Christ, how many? 78 uh, unreported. Well, the world is officially fully open to us. But first things first. I want to see my Pokemon. And... Well, first things first. I'm going to yoink you. And put you over here. With the preliminary rest of the unknown. With only one more to go. And then... <laughs> Alpha Lucario. But which one? They're both level 47, so let's quickly see. You already have a... Uh, you've already been on the games. Goodbye, Infernape. You've been replaced by a beloved Rialu. And now the question is, what shall we name you? Trying to harken back my memory. I shall call you Zack. All right. I have lots. You've got 27 Pokemon. Can you report your findings? Lots of Pokemon. Lots of Pokemon. Equals lots of money. Loads of money. Yep, we only need to do two more of Bergmite. Wow, we almost completed Rialu's entry too. I guess I'll return to the village just to see if there is any new missions that have popped up now that we've explored. Let's just see, let's just see. Uh huh, so a mission has appeared. Let me guess, Zeke. Your sister has fallen and can't get up. What'll the mission be? Who could it possibly be? Totally not the lady that's stuck, constantly being lost. Oh no. Oh, it's a blackboard. It's a blackboard mission. So there are some requests posted on the blackboard. Loads of them! At home under the eaves. It seems Trimico has made itself at home under the eaves of one of the village's houses. Speak of Ida, an elderly resident of Jubilee, to find out more about the matter. That'll probably be a, hey, complete Chimico's diddly. Snow White Vulpix in the snow. Kika, uh, Kiaka, a security corps fellow from Alola, has several Vulpix, but he calls them uh, Kyoko, Kyo Kyo. Track him down and see what his request entails. Mushroom hunting with Swinub. It seems moral the mushroom hunter needs helping hand or nose. Make use of Swinub's special skills to fulfill his request. And then one more, a bit of help from Blissey. Pippa of the Supply Corps says a kindly Pokemon called Blissey saved her from a sticky situation. Speak with Pippa about this incident and do your utmost to be helpful if you could. Nine billion. Forty-one thousand and nine. So, let's see, unhome under the eaves. Out there, yep, yep. No way, Vulpix, he'll be out there. Well, let's see. Uh, yep. Either in here somewhere. Nope, he's out there in the world. Still need to do that. Oh, we can actually do that one, too. And we can also turn in some of our, uh, eerie apparitions. Speak of Pippa in the Alabasta Icelands. 
And in the yep, more Alabasta Icelands. So we'll quickly put on at home under the eaves. So yeah, I think I'm kind of spot on with the uh, this request. The requests being going up to 100. Ah, if it isn't one of our beloved customers, might I tr uh, trouble you to help with a little survey work? In my family, we've always passed down the tales of some ancestors that lived in the village around the avalanche slopes, but I've never been able to find any hint of such a settlement ever existing. I'm beginning to doubt the tales are true. But everyone wants to know about where they come came from, don't they? So help me out. See if you can find any evidence people ever lived around the avalanche slopes. All right. Okie dokie. What's currently tracked? All right, we got a decent amount of things. We'll turn in the Mistrevis. We'll go and do lots of things. Just lots of things to do. I love it. I caught Mistrevis for you. About your request, lady. I have plenty of Mistrevis for you. You know, people are afraid of Mistrevis because of how it apparently wails at night, but getting a good look at it, this really gives me some fresh perspective. Look how it billows and sways and flows. Wait, that's it! That's what I'll do! Wow, I just thought up some charming hairstyles and an enchanting new palette of colors! All thanks to you and Mistrevis here. Come by any time to try out new ideas for yourself! And now I'm... <laughs> Even more? No, that's not right, either. It needs a special extra something, but what? Ah, nice timing, as always. I could use your help coming up with some new hairstyles. I've hit another wall here. Now, I bet I could get inspiration from a different Pokemon this time. A Pokemon like, yeah, Curlia! Well, I don't have any Curlia on me. I can't remember how it ex looks exactly, but I'm pretty sure it has a real distinct style. If you manage to catch a Curlia, bring it here so I can have a look, okay? I don't have any Curlia, because I evolved them all. But at least I know that there are Curlia wandering about. In fact, I kind of know where some Curlia are. Around that Alpha. Oh, hey. There's the Alpha Mime Jr. You're with the Survey Corps, right? A Chimaco's decided to nest in my house. Do you think you could help me get it to move? It made itself at home under the eaves before I even noticed. It seems mellow enough, but I'm not at ease of having a Pokemon so close. I've already spoken to some homeowners who'd be willing to let Chimico move in with them. What I'd like you to do is have a look at the homes and make sure they'd be a good fit for Chimico. It's not like I can tell what Chimico feels, so the first place I'd like you to check is the farmer's house near the fields. I think you could find a nice place for Chimico to hang on. Okay. Oh, and while we're here, I've gathered a lot of spirits. 21 to find. Since I've gathered 70. Scrap of Reaper Cloth. And since I gathered 80, three Seeds of Mastery. Find four more and you'll give me a reward. Wish there was a count per area that I could see and not just, oh, the whole area. Like, per, like, finding. You go to a place, find them. Chime doesn't like it. The wind direction seems to be bothering Chimico. Chimico has said wind is bad. Wah. All right. Chimico did not like the wind direction. Oh, so it prefers the way the wind blows around my house. I like it too. We get a good breeze. Well, then how about the hut by the sea? The ocean breeze is so refreshing. Let me guess. If we're just going to find out that she and Chimico have so much in common that she'll go, Oh, I guess I like Chimico now. Hmm. Out of all, like, after playing the game for so long, I have come to... Uh, Two conclusions, two things that I think should be, uh, that one thing that I think affects the gameplay, and one thing that just would have been cool. One, if the Pokemon, like, when it comes to the move direction thing, 
it should always, always go directly as it seems. So if it says the Pokemon will go once, it should go once. But sometimes it feels like they go twice when I saw that it would only go once. Hey, if you're with Pokemon ever since you're really little, will they be your friend? Well, you can get friends even later on in life, you know, kid. Mercy, what a treasure this White Hope and Land is. I'm glad I followed my family out here. What do you think, Chimeco? You'll probably not like it. Chime. Chimeco seems lonely since there's nobody around. I'm sorry, Chimeco has uh, reported you're not a person. Or maybe it's just like it doesn't like the isolation of the hut. It prefers the amount of people in the village. That's probably what it means and not just ha 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 ha. Jokes. Yeah, but I just love doing the requests lead to the Pokemon being out here. Super cool. I didn't really like it. I really like it. Seeing everything grow slightly as time goes on. Does my Rialu like me? How about Zack? I see it's become a bit friendly towards you, but you've got a ways to go. Alright, what about Spyro? What does he think of me? Spyro seems to get on well with you, but I'm sure it could be get on better. And then Valor, he's been only here a little bit. A bit friendly towards you, but you've got a ways to go. So that's probably why hmm, I wonder. I wonder what the evolution requirements for Lucario is. So it likes lively places. It's always great to have some activity around. How about the training grounds? With the security core around, the place is always bustling. Then it'll probably be a too a bit too bustling. And while we're there, we can also see if uh, there are any moves that I can learn for Spyro and Zack and everyone. Got any new uh, things for me to buy at the Craftworks? Crafting recipes? Ox Power Guard, Evasion, Dire Hit, Salt Cake, Ox, uh, Max Elixir, Max Ether, Max Revives. That would be nice. One Revive and two bunches of King's Leaf. Full heal, superb. I don't like the remedies because they make my Pokemon li not like me as much. Max Elixir. I wonder what Ether is versus Elixir. Ah, oh, but Ingo. Well, first let's talk to you because Ingo will probably want a battle. Want no moves! Let's see, what moves can Zack learn? I should have learned what seen what moves he already had, though. Okay, one second. I could have just done summary. I'm dumb. I am the biggest dummy dummy in the world. Summary. Uh, aura Sphere, Close Combat, Crunch, and Bulk Up. Oh, it doesn't show it in Move Reserve. It only shows what it has equipped. Alright, change moves. What do you have? Rock Smash, Iron Defense, Bite versus Crunch, Bullet Punch. All right. Valor. Ah, you learned Shadow Claw. Honestly, I'll put put it over Shadow Sneak. That seems good. Oh, uh, yes, he's good. Change moves. Earth power. That's all of the moves that he has. And let's go. I want moves. What moves can you teach my boy? Draco Meteor. 110 power, but it's 5 power point. Flamethrower. Maybe, maybe. Iron Head. Seems pretty decent. Flamethrower, 
Shadow Claw. That'll do good for you for now. And I think Drinko Meteor might be cool, but I don't like five power point moves. Especially now that we get into a lot of fights. What about Valor? Dark Pulse is always good. Hmm. Shadow Ball. 80 power. Uh, and 10 power points. But you already have some ghost moves. Sludge Bomb. Un unsanitary Sludge is hurled at the target. And then I guess I could also give you Flamethrower if I ever wanted to put it on. Oh, what? I, for some reason, the... Either I just never really noticed it before. I think I'm just dumb. Because I never noticed the whoosh blinding light before. Learn you Shadow Claw. Hmm. Man's in Headbutt for... Give you Ice Punch, Thunder Punch. And Bulldoze. Well, let's see. Anything else? <coughs> And then I guess a uh, poison jab. Just oh, and rock slide. All of that for coverage, my boy. Yeah, for some reason I never like super recognize the whoosh. All right, my dude, how you doing? I must tell you, Neon, journeying with you has given me a new ambition. I wish to make the joys of battling Pokemon more widely known in this world. I can call someone for you to battle if you would like. Who can I conduct for here? Winton Zisu. Ah. Interesting. Bring in Winton. I'll beat him up. Ugh, the prospect of battling someone with your talent has me shaking, but feeling honored as well. The Security Corps' Winton challenged you to battle. Well, really, I challenged him. Go, Zack! Awesome, I get to call in combat. Yeah, you're not going to survive out there. Return! I'll bring out Risu. Sisu, that was her name. I'll keep it Risu. It makes it interesting. Destroy it, Thunderbolt! But this is cool, and we get to hear the music more. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, it goes twice? That's not good. Risu, no! I'll throw out a Ko Akuma. We can revive Risu just for the experience gang this will give us. Because I don't think it'll be able to do much. You shall suffer. Destroy that Jolteon. Who next? Gastrogen. Or Gastrodon. Uh, do I have anyone that's good against a level 50 Gastrogen? Sure. Remember to stay hydrated while you beat up the security core. Because it can get really nasty in there. Kill the Gastrogen. Dog, get the dog. Remember to stay hydrated while you continually get names wrong. And remember to stay hydrated after winning grand victory. Your Pokemon are simply unstoppable. You annihilated Risu! How dare you. Thank you, Mario C, for reminding me to stay hydrated. Whoa, that's a lot of this is how you grind. Yes, I love it. Your, con your consummate battling has taught me what truly matters. It's not winning or losing. It's working in harmony with your Pokemon. And items. 
But yay, we get to battle more people with the aid of Ingo. I love it. I love how much this just place has grown and changed and added. Oh yeah, that's a thing, that's a thing. There's a, th oh, huh? Ah, I see what you have here. Oh, sorry, I couldn't help but notice you have something I need. Sootfoot roots are the main ingredient for my potato mochi. Can't get enough of them. Think you could part with those sootfoot you've got? You've collected 39, right? I'll buy them off you for 100 each. I'll sell you all I've got. Sure. I don't have much use for them. But I completely forgot because it happened uh, while well, I was wandering about. But... I talked to the guy that's like, hey, I have random rare stuff to sell you. So he sold me a, a washing machine. Your Rotom seems to want to investigate your washing machine's motor. Will you let it? Sure. <laughs> no idea where he got it. But sure, you become a washing machine. Hilarious. I didn't expect them to actually include the, oh, Rotom can change its typing thing. Granted, it's tied to a random guy <laughs> selling random things at random times. A honey cake set, I don't care. Yeah, he just sells random things at random times. And sometimes I guess he'll sell you a Rotom set. A Rotom thing. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah, we got Reaper Cloth. We got lots of things. Alright, we need to catch a Curlia. We need to do a lot of things. Alright. And let's give out some Grit Dust. Grit Dust for the Bappy. But I guess they wanted to add a special way to grind a bit. So now you can fight people with Ingo, which is super cool. Raise your special defense. Raise your health. Go ahead and raise your health a bit. Your special attack and your speed. And let's see. Oh, I forgot that, man. I got caught up. I was like, hey, let's talk to Ingo. Ingo is just like, I can have people fight you. It's like, <gasps> and then just got caught up in things. But yes, Chimiko, what do you think of this place? You can watch people die here. Ah, you like it. Is that your Chimiko? Why don't you come and train with us? Oh, Chimiko does not want to fight. It seems Chimiko doesn't like to battle. I knew it. Something. It does not like to witness death. And to think everything else was fine. And they were just like, they want me to battle? Oh no. Honestly, same. Doesn't like to battle. Doesn't. <laughs> I guess it's only natural that some Pokemon don't like to battle. I'm sorry to scare you, Chimiko. Oh, is it telling me not to worry about it? How about next door to me then? It's hardly different at all from my place. I just had a chat with my neighbors, and they said they'd be fine with Chimiko hanging around. What do you think, Chimiko? Still doesn't like it. Uh, pardon me. I know I just sent you chasing about looking for a good home for Chimiko, but I think I'd like it to stay with me after all. You've really helped me understand Chimiko a lot better, and I think we can actually live together now. It just dawned on me that hearing its adorable cry coming from under the eaves is part of my routine now. You're going to live with me from now on, aren't you, Chimiko? Thank you for all your help. I'm glad this village has the survey call. <coughs> hmm. 
knew it the moment that I was just like, oh, I kind of like the breeze here too. It's just like immediately, you are going to want this Chimico to stay with you in the end. No, my Pokeballs have been stolen from me. Stolen by Shatan. All right. I guess. G -g -g guess. Well, first I'm going to see if I can quickly find a Tortwig over here. Super cool that you can find starter Pokemon. It's such a novelty to be able to run into starter Pokemon from other games in these areas. Fly away with me! Let's see. I'm trying to remember, I think... Where was it? Get out of here. Think over there. We need to go quite far. Too bad we can't just dive bomb Pokemon with Pokeballs. I think that would be funny. And I can't rise with it. So it's not a full absolute flying. You do lose altitude eventually. Which is interesting. It's not the best way to travel overall. But it's still a pretty damn good way to travel. All this way. There's a turd twig there. All right. It's super difficult because turd twig is on the other side there. I don't want to scare it. Because it's a timid Pokemon. I need to get through. No, 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 no. Okay, good. He's <gasps> sleeping. Oh yeah! No, come on! What? Why? Why wasn't it being caught? Why did it just go? Hitboxes! Hitboxes! I was very nearly scammed out of my turtwig. That was a bit silly. Ever so slightly silly, but. We'll fast travel, go see if the guy was, did indeed want a turret twig for his picture. Oh wait, you're not the professor. You're the professor. I caught a turret twig, professor. It's an adorable tree turtle. And I would like to return to the village so we can talk to the photo guy, see if he wants the Turtwig photo proper, like. And then he'll probably want us to grab a Pokemon from either Obsidian Fields or the Alabaster Icelands for a photo. I got... Oh no, darn it. About your request. Why is the Roberti request not above... I think I have the Pokemon you wanted. I just need to find it. Find it somewhere here. Where, where, where could it be? 
Turtwig, darling little Turtwig. Wish there was a search option. All right, I'm sure it's not here. Turtwig is not in that box. Ah, Turtwig was right here the whole time. Charming little scamp. Yes, that pair of leaves on its head. And that's it. I knew that photo I had captured a Pokemon. Now I'm fired up to take a proper shot of it to commemorate this little discovery. And this has been such a learning experience for me. I've been able to hone my eyes as a photographer. Thanks for these little puzzles for sure. But I still want to see the photo see and photograph even more different Pokemon. If you're open to it, I certainly hope you'll keep bringing you Pokemon by uh, take more photographs here. we go back to the Alabasta Icelands and then we'll have to craft a bunch of stuff I love this game there's so much to do and it just feels so good especially when you come across the Pokemon you like for the first time you this game is just like <gasps> yes 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 We need more iron chunks. Jet Ball, the ultimate iteration of the Feather Ball. Ball that flies fast and true. Ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or the ones that fly in the air. I'll wait until I run out of my wing balls. And then I guess I'll craft a few gigatons. I don't have that many medicinal links. Leaks. Profound sadness. Max Potion. Full Restore. Topical medicine are meant to be applied to Pokemon. It can be used to fully restore its max HP of a single Pokemon and cure any status effects. Guess I'll go ahead and max out my max potions. What are you doing here? I've been waiting for you, Survey Co- Ah! I want to give you my thanks to a certain Blissey that aided me when I was in left injured by a wild Pokemon. Help me find it, would you? It was a wild Pokemon that hurt me, and it was a wild Pokemon that helped me. It's a curious world we live in, wouldn't you say? But even to a Pokemon, one must always give thanks to the care one receives. It'd be a shame if my core... I'd be a sh I'd be the shame of my core if I failed to even do that. Join me at Avalog's Legacy, here at the Alabaster Icelands. That's where I met the Blissey. All right. Mushroom Humpteen with Swinub. He's over there. All right. Oh, he's right here. Good thing. Ah, just the person I've been waiting for. My Ki Kio Kio wandered off to go play, but they haven't come back yet. Do you think you could help me find them? Him, Kio Kio? Oh, I'm sorry. Back home in Alola, Vulpix were called Kio Kio, you see. Kin Kin! Oh, they even have the variant here. Hmm? Oh, did you not go to play with the rest? This is what an Alolan Vulpix looks like. They blend right into the snow with their white fur, so trying to find them all just by myself would take ages, and I'm still missing five of them. You should be able to find my Vulpix playing around at the Avalanche Slopes. Could you find them all and tell them to come back? The Avalanche Slopes. Okie doke. And then... Alright, so we can fly on over, find them, look for the village, go over here for the mushroom, and uh, finish up the bergmite. Hmm. 
Because we should run into Bergmites every now and then. So many Pokemon. Hmm. I'm trying to think, because I think that just goes through. Uh, avalanche slopes are on the other fire uh, other side were too much here I love the quick swapping it's super cool hopefully it will actually let me go over this mountain sometimes it arbitrarily says no mountain crossing for you be super easy to find them in. I don't know, I was going to pick up this. Letting your Vulpixes run about this far in is a bit irresponsible, I would say. You said they, oh, maybe they need to be closer over here. actually play on the slopes. Then again, why would anyone ever want to go play at the avalanche slopes? Next you'll want to go and be like, I want to go play at murder kill you're gonna die land. Awesome music incoming! Love the m feeling of this music. But where's the... Where are the Vulpix? Do they go into the cave? I could see that. And this allows me to run into the Bergmites, see what I need to do to properly learn about them, fill out their their page. Let's see. Uh huh. I guess we can catch this one. Should be easy enough. And then the next one we'll get a read on. Where are 
the Vulpixes. He said they were over at the Avalanche Slopes. And hiding out in the Alabaster Icelands. Just anywhere, because he said the the slopes. Let's see. Ah. Number defeated. Hmm. I could give it food, maybe. Get the food. I hate when they bug out. Eat the food. There we go. Love the music. Could have sworn that he said that they were playing out here by the avalanche slopes. Ah, here's one at least. Hello there. You need to head home. <laughs> now this is just awesome music. I am Batman. You need to head home now. You blend with the snow, and your trainer is worried. to be iron. Hello there. You must head home. Very interesting to actually include the, like, Alolan Vulpix as a mission in this. Very interesting. about a lot, so I'm not sure if they'll be easy to find on the ground. What be this? Snow runs. Ooh, 
Run from me, snow runts. What's your deal? They were interested with something here. What were they burying? A skull? Ah, torn journal. A, an old stab-bound uh, diary in a traditional style. It has been torn and is missing the latter half of its pages. February 5th. I was on my way back to the village when a blizzard blew in. I decided to take refuge for the night in one of the mountain huts. I awoke at dawn due to some noise. Before me stood an... Arbed in a fine kimono. Our eyes met and beauty stole the breath from my breast, yet it... Was terrible beauty, frightened to behold. I c my eyes in terror, waiting for the to move on and leave me in peace. When next I opened my eyes, the had disappeared, leaving me but nothing but the driven... Hmm. The rest of the pages are missing. Interesting. Hello, snow runts. Found more interestings? <laughs> You've been trapped. Or did they jump off? No, they evolved. Well, one of them evolved. Alright. Spyro's probably gonna get cooked. And, uh, there be no... Hmm. There will be no catching this frost last. Not allowed. You use crush. I use cotton. Kill! Frostless seems to have dropped something. Bundle of pages without any cover. It looks like they could fit into the gap of the journal you found. The rest of the pages seem to detail the writer's life in a village, which sounds like it might have been in the Alabaster Icelands. September 1st. It's hard to believe it's been years since now since I began, and I began living together in the lodge. I was flipped through my old journal entries today and happened to be reminded of the I met once. In an odd way, reminds me of the that I met that day. But I remind myself that I live in the real world, not in old of fairy tales. Surely such things can't be true. January 3rd. Why did I do it? Why do I have to remember that? Why speak of to my dear? I regret so much. It's too late to now. Is gone. I have lost forever. I know it disappeared, leaving nothing behind but the driven snow. Oh, whoa, why did I ever speak of it? If only I had held my tongue, kept my silence, I wouldn't have ever been and did to no such grief. There was the last energy entry in the journal. Hmm. You better return to Jubilee Village and show the old journal to the merchant Manny. Very weird. We still need to look for... Vulpixes, since they were all around here. There's one. Hello there. You need to head home now. It's getting late. Last one could just ah, that was super easy. Thank you for being a different color from the rest of the snow. 
to a degree. And now they're all left to go home. Oh, I can't do it from here. That's a bit weird. It's like, return the slab, but I can't because I'm in the air. But we'll go ahead and go to the snowfields camp. Alola! Thanks for helping me search for them. They're all back safe and sound. Oh, this one seems to have taken a liking to you. If it's right with you, could you take this little one with you? I'm certain it'll help you with your survey work. Sure thing. Come along. I received the Alolan Vulpix. We'll be here at the Snowfields camp for a while. I'd love it if you'd stop by from time to time and show me how Vulpix is doing. Woot! Very interesting. I love this place. Ah. This will help me complete my work. Ow. My ass. And now something wants to kill me. Something wants to kill my ass. Level... Die. All right, Glaley, you picked a fort with me. You picked an ugly fort with me. Throw rocks at him. Wow, I am the quark. And I'll go ahead and heal up some of my Pokemon. Like Spyro, because he's almost dead. My boy! Let's see. What should we uh, increase? Your health. Health is important. And then better stay healthy. Nom nom. Alright, Rialu. Punch it out. Oh, it's a snow rod. I wanted uh, the monster. You. You've ruined everything. You ruined my life. Kill the snow rod. And then I shall fly away. Ah, surf for three. It looked different from below. Below above. Oh. Mammoth, giants, mammoth, mammoth. Hey, my push, hey, my car. Hey, my bar. Blow. Ah. I can just give you food. And then I'll bap ya. Time for bapping! You've been caught on a ways and now you will die! My Rialu hip thrusts aura spheres at people. Magical. Don't know why it doesn't care about Garrick. Maybe Garrick is built different. And now he should want to run away. Because it's probably going to break loose. Yep. Uh, 
All right, that's basically completed. Now we'll want to head over somewhere over here for that guy to be like, I want a snow, uh, a swinub for mushroom hunting or something. It should be over here. I believe. Or is it closer? There you are, I just missed you. There's mushrooms. Glad to see you all the way out here. I've been waiting patiently with a request. What uh, say you to a spot of mushroom hunting in the snow? The Pro Clan told me that shrooms growing around the Heart's Crag are quite a delicacy. But these little gems are buried in the snow and only Swinub Snubs can snuffle them out. This is where your skills come in. Catch yourself a Swinub, take it out forging, and see if you can find those mushrooms. Three would be great. Uh, I need to actually bring back a sw Ah. Add a swoon up to the party. <laughs> it's just like, okay, it's a little odd to see things. Alright, we're gonna look for the unknown over here. Look for the unknown over here. Get the eternal ice. Ah, there's the unknown. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I need to... land on this one, then. And I can rise into the air. This is not good for precision. Help! Help! Ah! You're a load of trouble, but you're the final unknown. Alright, can't wait to turn that in, Professor. Investigate the eternal ice. Okay, God is giving me a text message. Your arc phone is beeping. Or maybe it just told me. Get the piece of eternal ice. Eternal ice. A type of ice beloved by the Lord of the Tundra, Avalog. This ice is said to be fragments of ancient Avalog that lived long ago. So Avalog likes to eat ancient Avalog. ha <laughs> At last, this summit is conquered! And I see you made it too! Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? Got eternal ice. I do have to respect your effort, the effort you put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my lord, Avalug. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. That now don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform! A tall leap like this can only be managed by a highly toned bodies like mine! Till we next meet! Oh, we don't even get to see it. Scam! Scam! We didn't get to see it! Scam! Alright, then... I guess, suppose, next... We will head home while scouting out for any spirits that might be hanging about. I'm going the wrong direction. Ish. Which way is the wrong direction? Looking for spirits. Hmm. This looks like a place that I could wander, but the game says no. No wandering for me over here.
that interests me, I'm gonna go up there. Punch buggy! We'll turn in because we got all the unknown. And plus this will also activate the thing so that we can turn in the quest for the lady about her favorite Pokemon. Uh, obtained all forms. Research level perfect. He's perfect. Uh, I'd like to return to the village. And then I'll put a Swinub in the team, I guess. Huh. Can I just not, like, talk to him? Because, like, surely there has to be something with the unknown. Professor! I caught all the unknown! Don't you want to know more about the unknown? Done. I thought interesting things would happen. Profound <laughs> sadness. Whoa. Although I suppose it wasn't actually a quest, it was just, hey, this is for the Pokedex, and... Or maybe, oh, maybe if I actually go to the page? Nope. It just says, yep, the unknown research is done. Oh, uh, well. Well de well de well well. Uh, take me to the Ice Peak Camp. Then I'll get to there, talk to the dude, and be like, Hey, I would like a Swinup on my team. And with a Swinup on my team. Alright. The question is, who should I swap out? Honestly, Risu will swap out. And we'll put a Swinup onto the team. And uh, go hunting. But we'll make a quick detour for this leak. Hopefully we can find if there's any spirits around the village. Because I need more wisps. This is what happens when you're too good at finding wisps. You stop finding wisps because you found them all. <coughs> Surprise! You completed Bergmite's entry? Ooh, what to do? I want to look, but then I don't want to look, and fine, I'll have a look. Hmm, I see. No way, really? Wow, I didn't know that. You did a good job. I particularly liked how you made a note of Bergmite's height and weight. This entry shows that you took the time to get to know many Bergmite and studied them with a passion. I mean, I knew everything you wrote already, of course. But it's true. I'm the one who knows all there is to know about Bergmite after all. But I did really enjoy reading the entry you made about Bergmite. An entry in your book might be complete, but I hope you spend more time studying Bergmite. Anything else? Just that, more than likely. Wait, this looks like an arena. No, but it does lead to a lake. Uh, no spirits, but this would be the perfect place for spirits. And, but, maybe I could climb. Spirit! <laughs> I knew there'd be a spirit in here! 
Four wisps remain in the area. But so I want to climb the uh, climb and see if there's anything to do. Well, after we calm Avalog, depending on what story twist comes, next we'll just have to be uh, finding all the wisps. So yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll finish this side quest, and then what other side quests are there? The Curlia, which I guess I could look for a Curlia. Hmm. All right, meet up with Pippa. Ah, okay. We'll do that, and then we can talk to him. All right. So we'll do the Blissey mission. We'll do the Mushroom mission, finish the Traces of a Lost Village, and then uh, we'll finish Avalog off, see what story shenanigans happen, and then after that, uh, we'll probably end the stream, and then between this stream and next stream, I'll try to get a Curlia... And look about for s apparitions. See if I can find a goddamn Churum. And, uh, well, not really. It's complete the Pokedex entry of the Churum. And then also, we can start. then we can start off the next stream trying to get a full moon for the dance. Search for me! Wow, you and Swinup snuffled, snuffled this one out quick! I just knew you were the right person for the job. Two mushrooms left now. Have a Swinup accompany you around Hart's Crag and snuffle them out under the snow. <gasps> Join me! So I can do that mission super easily. Yay! Now I don't have to worry about doing that. I just caught a Curlia. Here I thought I would have to go grab a Ralts from the Stone Temple. Oh, you bastard! I'll have to take Swinob off, probably. Oh no, I got a Kuma out ready to go. Good. You bloody Snova! Getting in the way of science! <laughs> Swinub is happy. Gosh, I thought you were slacking off wasting time with that Pokemon battle. But look at this splendid specimen of a mushroom you found. You're a natural at this foraging stuff, you know. One more mushroom left. Have a swim of accompany you around this place that we've already been going about doing stuff in. Avoid the giant guard of war that... Could probably still crush my head through its thighs. Through sheer force of will. Oh, found one, did you? A fine mushroom indeed. Well done! Fantastic effort all around! You and Swinub did a great job tracking down these three mushrooms I was after. It sure was fun forging with you both. Pokemon and people together make for a great team. I can't wait to forge with you elsewhere. Perhaps with a new Pokemon pal along to help. It'll be hard to top Swinub, though. Its snuffling skills may well be the best out there. Thinking about it, it was a Swinub that discovered the Hot Springs and Pearl Settlement, too. Maybe I should really just partner up with a Swinub, huh? Moral and Swinub, the mushroom-hunting dream duo. Sounds good, doesn't it?
All right. Next is help with Blissey. We'll head to the Ice Peak Camp. So I can trade out my Swinub. Super nice that they had this incorporated. So I can easily get to my Pokemon. All right, then off to s do the Blissey mission. I want that one. I'm gonna look into how to evolve you into a nice friend. That way I can have a Alpha Sneasler of my own. Damn it. Let's see. Uh, you're a poison fighter, I think, so you might anno uh, annihilate this man. Bulldoze. I don't want to kill. But it's obvious that this Sneasel wants to kill. Go, Ultra Ball! Hopefully. Worst comes worst, I could use Crunch. That's not super effective. Yay! Got Alpha Sneasel. Specifically, the variant. Hopefully I won't need you, my boy. So you come to help my search out Blissey, have you? I was around here, uh, I was, it was around here that I met it, but I don't see it now. Uh, when did you meet it? Now let me think, as I recall, we'd been out here for a little while. I simply turned around and there was an Obama snow. Well! I'm gonna send out Yebakuma again. My bad, I should have healed you. And Akuma died again. My poor Akuma. Air slash. It was quite as I thought. Blissey may be one thing, but other Pokemon are still terrifying. Ow, oh, it seems I managed to twist my ankle in all the excitement. Bliss! The Blissey has arrived! What? Blissey! Blissey! Well, this is a bit fortunate and misfortune. I brought these berries to thank you for your help before, Blissey. Here you go. <laughs> and it healed the Obama snow. It's terribly kind, isn't it? It treats anyone who needs help, it needs its help, be they human or Pokemon. All right. And then that leaves... Well, I guess we could try a bit of Clefairy to end on. See if we can really knock down some things, but... Off we head. Well, I should probably actually revive my boy again. Since he got annihilated, because I pro probably due to the fact that I didn't heal him up, because I didn't think that we would need it.
You're really at home out here, weird ear. Huh. Just kind of realized. We should probably put on flamethrower out here. Since we're gonna probably go up against an ice type, so lay on the fire moves. Let's see, do you have anything? I guess maybe put Brave Bird on. Brave Bird instead of Shadow Claw. Ah, but that probably won't. Now let's see. Check summary. Oh. Wait, I just... I need to see. Uh, what moves do you have? High horsepower. 85. As opposed to... I guess I could put... I have a, there we go. Let's see. And now this seems like a good setup. Oh, wait. Mm, yeah, this seems like a good setup. Close combat for really getting the fight on. Give you flamethrower as well, in case we are really in dire straits. Get rid of Twister. Put Iron Head on. And Shadow Claw over Slash, I believe. Because that should do. Now let's. Ah, Volo! Why, if it isn't Neon, what a pleasure finding a familiar face, or any face, in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalog. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? Absolutely. And why wouldn't you be? So Avalog, yes, the fifth of his Sui's nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes. According to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalog of old could be up to a hundred feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Pokemon of the Colossus. Oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps to give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. On what now? To the arena! Hmm, yes, well, I did want to see that Avalog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Bye-bye, <laughs> my champ. I really hope that my boy... Volo isn't a bad boy, man, who's out to destroy the world. All right, my man. So we are to quell Avalug as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using that eternal ice. 
I've heard about how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll only be a moment's work. It's like he did it with his mind. And there you have it! If you truly wish to quell Avalug, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. I'm going. Alright, final noble. That's an awesome shot. I love it. It's such a simple shot, but it's an awesome shot. And I love it. The music. Dear God! Oh yeah! Pokemon the Colossus. You look a lot smaller now. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Dang it. Oh crap. My boy! Utter nightmare monster. Oh, water pulse. I thought you'd be more ice based. Ah, crap. I should have done strong style. Water pulse! Risu coming in clutch. Let's heal up, my boy. Honestly, I should probably focus on dodging. How am I supposed to dodge those? <laughs> Game! How are you supposed to dodge those? Battling Avalog, dodge! I know, you dipshit game. Restart the battle. Probably should have continued, but I don't know. Oh, dang it, I didn't see that coming. All right. Dang it. Get up, get up, game. Let me get up. That's stupid. Thank <laughs> you. 
There needs to be human healing items. can't dodge all of them. It's physically impossible. It is literally... Oh, what? It didn't give me a chance to actually throw my Pokemon. That is extra mean game. Didn't even give me a chance to throw out my Pokemon. <laughs> this battle's kind of dumb with that. <laughs> Let me throw out my Pokemon. Ah, oh, but you threw out one too many bombs. Restart the battle, because I don't know what continue battle does, and I don't trust it. It sounds like it will punish me for existing. You have to be super frickin' quick, or else he'll just be like, oh, actually, you don't get the fight. Strong style, kill. At least that's kind of nice. If you go back a lot, you don't have to dodge through the smoke. The frost breath. You can kind of cheese out some of the dodging by just staying way, way back. Some of those are impossible to dodge. You have to be really fast or else they'll be like angry. Strong style. I don't think I can survive another of his ice spike barrage.
Okay, I did it! Woot woot! Hardest battle! Mostly due to a few shenanigans there of, oh, you threw one too many bombs and weird timings on the icicles, but still. Hey, at least it posed a challenge. Probably because I was dumb and didn't just play it safe. <laughs> but there you go, my dude. You are now awake and alive. I did it. Even though I kind of died a few times. But that happens. Dying. I received the icicle plate. Icicle plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of ice. When used on certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the ice type. Garrick, sir, you needn't look so down, quite so downcast. But, but seeing mighty Avalok quelled, and by such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky. Is this neon girl some kind of monster in disguise? She is no monster. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Neon. Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in the almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he has fear, uh, feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team would cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But will that change? But that will change. Irida? I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Neon has much to teach us. She's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife so long as our Pokemon are with us. She's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull that off, Neon! You quelled every last frenzied noble. So is that space-time rift going to start closing up now, or what? There's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so, anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got Neon. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have her at our side. You know something, Irida. We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you cruel Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. Ah, oh, this is cool. Seeing you take on Avalog was intense, even from up in the sky where I was watching. Crack a smile. Where are you going to do if all the nobles have been quelled, Neon? I don't know. You quelled Avalok. We may not yet know for sure if it was the right or not to do so, but it was certainly a fine battle. Ah, there's a request. At the Ice Peak Camp. We must go. Ah, just the balloon guy. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't have to talk to the balloon guy. We don't have to talk to the balloon guy. It's just, hey, aerial races, probably. Fantastic stuff, as always. I'm sure the commander is eagerly awaiting your report. To the village! Either that or... Kamado is odd at times. Commander Kamado is odd. Let's see, we can talk to you since we have Curlia. About your request, I got a Curlia.
You know, they say Curlier just loves to dance. I kind of get it. That feeling with your hair sways around you while you're dancing. It's the best. Actually, yeah, that's the sort of hairstyle I want to go for. Uh, now, how about to gather up the hair the right way? And where should it be let down? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. That's what I'll do. Girl, I owe you one. Thanks to you and Curly, I've got ideas for some new hairstyles and new colors like no one's ever seen. Come by any time and try them out for yourself. And we'll go talk to the dude and be like, Hey, your town, uh, your village of ancientness. That was like, I don't know. Well, great. Your sister went to the Icelands. Why did she go to the Icelands? Wanda snuck out of the village without telling me, and she hasn't come back. I heard she was all bundled up against the cold, too, so I've got a sneaking suspicion she went to the Alabaster Icelands. Whatever she sent her out there, it doesn't seem like it was an assignment from the Security Corps. What else could make her want to go to such a dangerous place alone? I really need you to help help again from you and Ursaluna. Use that scent from the scraps of Wanda's old kerchief and search her out for me. I just can't stand by and rely on you every time. I'm, I'm her big brother. I can't let her down now. Wait for me, Wanda! I'll save you this time! Now I'm gonna have to save both of them. Oh, my savior! I was looking for you, you know! <laughs> Where were- Why are you here?! What? My brother went to the Alabaster Icelands?! Zeke, that brother? The one who's refused to even set foot outside the village since he got attacked by some shinks and totally traumatized?! We, we've gotta find him at once! Please, savior! You've gotta help me find him! But why- Why did he- why? What? He said that he saw- He said that people saw you bundled up against the cold and leaving. What? Okay, dude, I got your journal for your ancestor. Did you find any trace of a settlement that might have once been around the avalanche slopes? Destroyed journal. You root around in your satchel, but you can't seem- Damn it. What? You say you found an old journal, but now it's gone and you got it from a Pokemon? Well, don't leave me in suspense. What's in the world did it say? That lines up exactly with the stories I heard from my old gran about the village. Which means that it's true. My ancestors really did come from a village that once existed there. You have no idea how many years I've wondered if it could believe those old tales or not. I really owe you a great deal for looking into this. And clearing up my doubts. So, I guess the ghost Pokemon stole the journal. Well, you still have to wonder. Why would a Pokemon be carrying an old journal that once belonged to a human? And you say it disappeared? I almost wonder if somehow it returned to that Pokemon again. Huh. Weird. But, let's take a look at missions! And now it's just Gone Astray, Clefairy, Eerie Operations, and that diddly dang Cheerum! Well, let's see what Kamado has to say. Yo, dude, I did it. Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself at the Wallflower, and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps' work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Isui without fearing the Pokémon around us. Mission 13 is where all things are going to go to hell, isn't it? Hell's going to break loose around Mission 13. I love this music. Thanks for this nice, sizable helping of potato mochi, Benny old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Now that Avalog's quelled too, we can survey all over Hisui. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I hate to think what kind of havoc that frenzied nobles could have wreaked if Neon never came to us. 
Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Neon be stuck here? I guess so. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Neon. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another day of hard work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget that we've got our sights on nothing less than a completed Pokedex. With you around, that Pokedex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I just tag along as your assistant? Assistant? Come now, Ray. Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, <laughs> sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. What's going to happen tomorrow? What is Mission 13 gonna bring us? What the hell is going to happen? What kind of cliffhanger will I leave myself on? Or will there be no? And it'll just be, hey, just go... Nope. Something happened. Huh. Disaster looming. Go outside and see what happened. Baga! It's Cyrus of the Steel Chair! Please don't be a destroyed village. Well, it's a wonky sky. Giratina? Maybe. This doesn't look good, Neon. It's only gotten bigger! <laughs> he looks so angry! <laughs> it's only gotten bigger. Oh no. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rifted space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I've word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. Ray just kind of looks bored. Hmm. The way the sky has changed. It is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There is a more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. It struck the night that Neon fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Neon? A Survey Corps member? Indeed. You've done all I ordered. But that does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the rift as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies fierce you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after? I'm just lost here. Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Neon wronged us. Exactly. Exactly. And besides, do you really think she's got the sort of fearsome power to take to make this all happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that she is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee she is who she says? Who here can guarantee she is to be trusted? But that's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Neon supposed to do then? She will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster. But not as a member of the Galaxy Team. She remains a suspect unless she can clear her name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. 
Is that clear, Sarlene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Neon? Do not attempt to intervene on her behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skills you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free, rather than clap you in chains. I knew he was somewhat of a bastard. You ought to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Orders are orders. Let's go. This way. Oh, I can move. I thought it was still a cutscene. I knew nothing good would come about the cliffhanger. So now we have to kind of go. You will... How could anyone do such a thing? We don't even know what's going on. We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort her from the village to the Fieldlands camp. Welcome to. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Maybe Silene will have some level of heart. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. What is Kamado's deal? After all I've done for you! And here I thought I would have the chance for Clefairy Dance. Can't believe the boss would do this. You called all those nobles frenzies under his own orders! Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, this hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absurdly unscientific! As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail! You must not. You will only cause Neon more pain if you are driven out as well for defending her. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aid to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adam and Anirida might take you in. Though I'm afraid they've both already returned to the respective settlements. I bet you could at least start by finding Leon at the Grand Tree Arena. Not sure where might be if you want the Diamond Clan. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I'll ensure you have all you need to complete the survey the Commander has tasked you with. If I might offer advice... In this life, you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. And that truly matters, all that truly matters, is that you hold firm in your own values. What of the dream I first shared with you on the Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? The dream simply will come true without you. Well, that's very mean. Now, the real question is, will anything super weird happen on my way there? At least I have Pokemon. Let's fly! Maybe I'm Almighty Sinnoh. You ever think of that, bitches? I don't even have false swipes, so I shouldn't even bother. I was gonna be like, oh, maybe I could smack up these trees. <laughs> An alpha starly. Let's fly. Uh, 
I love this game. Even though I kind of saw this coming a mile away. Oh, maybe we can get attention of Pokemon up here. And they'll follow me to the ground and want to fight me. Leon! I require aid! You! What in the world did you do? Look at the size of the rift! If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Sui can be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now! I should have known that the only thing that could have come from that rift was disaster. Er, I need help. Help? Ah, well, it's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Irida in a difficult position. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden Mai might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find Mai at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Hisui, there's a place for you as well. At least Liam went from, um, what did you do to, well, here's how I can kind of help you. But still, how could I have done this? I am but a child. Ah, wrong button. There's still that flying Gyarados. I wonder if it's special in any way. At least I have control over all the Pokemon, at least. Still. I require aid! My, my. What a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I'm trying to find out. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The great weird here took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but forgive me. I cannot help you in this. I am alone! Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things, like death. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. And now I guess I will <laughs> move on to the mire. If we can even get to the mire on our own. I can't even jump into the water. I'll be devoured. Ah, Shinx. Will I become the Pokemon Whisperer? Yeah, because normally Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Don't push me into the river. Wonder what that was about. Volo! The Ginkgo Guild will save me! Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Found you at last, Neon! I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? I haven't even bought anything from you! I haven't had the chance! Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy Team has treated you. But not to worry, there are still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. 
Where am I gonna hide? Tie, time the stone pillar? Here we are. I know, I know, it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Disaster looming. Speak to the person who dwells here at the retreat. This is a new area. Kogita's home. Workbench. Ah, at least I can do things. Who's Kogita? Shirking your work to come pester me again? Even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kogita. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn about Hisui's myths and legends. No mistress, thank you, just Kogita. And this is? Why, Neon is the woman of the hour. She's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one, it seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty as long last thanks to you. Duty? We already know I'm the lost one. Indeed. I'm to guide you, lost one, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. Lots of green, and that's a pretty decent bed for this world. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells Almighty Sinnoh. Oh, the Diamond Clans? No, the real Sinnoh. The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides, above and below. Time traces the path we tread from the here and the now into the future while space yawns all-encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? They're inseparable. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one. Here is what you must do. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance. Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the Red Chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How call callous of our ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Of course. I have no real other choice. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Yes, God. Your rock phone is beeping. You can see the locations of the three lakes. Mistress Kogita's got a lovely workbench here. And if you need materials, I'd be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? Ah, uh, there is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that indeed? Abra! What was that cry? Have we now lost a Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do you see to it, please? How could I refuse you, ma'am? It's probably Silene's Abra that will let me gather my Pokemon. Because it can teleport like Wurmples out of a building. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? And it's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Neon. You take a closer look at the letter. To Neon, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. 
I have every confidence in your ability as an Adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control properly. Sincerely, Sileen. Survey Corps Captain, Galaxy Expedition Team. Good tidings from the letter, then. And that's right. <laughs> it's a secret. No, that's right. Now then, so we're to visit Three Lakes. It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It should be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guild merchant. I've managed to reassure my people for now. The Wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. Seems all quiet, all's quiet for the moment. And so, here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to aid to undermine the Commander's direct orders, relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention. So it'll just be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. Choose whose help you want, the path ahead. Adamen of the Diamond Clan or Irida of the Pearl Clan. Mm. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh, and it's this area. Huh. Then maybe this will be an area too. Eh. But, huh... I will go with time, because Dialga is a mighty beast indeed. Adamen, I accept your aid. Obviously you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestica flute in the first place? That's right, this strapping young man. Yeah, I choose you. Thought so. You can count on me. So then, the leftover leader will. Leftover? I'm not someone's scraps. I'll keep watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hisui region's three great lakes to visit first. Right, and we'd better get a move on. No time to waste. I'll meet you wherever we decide to go. We'd be in hot water if we were seen traveling together. I'm counting on you to handle this, Adamin. Don't cause Neon more trouble. The Trial of Lake Verity. The Trial of Lake Vala. The Trial of Lake Acuity. Well, at least I have all my stuff, for the most part. By yeesh. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. This very took a turn. I like this. I like that there's like super story stuff going on. And now I want to continue. I want to go on now. Damn you, fireman. Wanting me to go on on a magical journey. You can name the boxes. I just realized that. I am the dumbest man in the world. I'm going to gather up the experience candies and level up some of my dudes. The lower level dudes, of course. Wrong button. Alright. Spyro! Let's use two. Two. I'll give you the final ones. Definitely need to level up your special defenses. Things to craft. Make my final potions. Uh, 
And let's get a move. Well, let's see. Something you need? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm a Ginkgo Guild merchant after all. Even though I've never bought anything from you in the past. Oh, rare candies. I should grab them and use them. Because in this game, rare candies are a valuable resource. Three. Three. And I'll give you the last three. Hmm. I wonder. We need friendship for my Rialu. Because it kind of makes sense. They're kind of like honor people, I think. But come on, my man. Well, you're not my man. It's kind of funny. Adamant, you are the man, and we must go. So where are you headed? Hmm. Lake Verity. Huh. Oh, nope. Lake Valor. Oh, the caverns opened up. I don't think this one has a cave. Maybe. There is the Lava Dome Sanctum that I've never been in. Well. Let's go to Lake Verity. The first one we've ever went to. Field Lens. This is a very big shake-up, and I can't even do my requests. Well, let's go. Fly on over this place. So the caves finally opened up. And we need the red chain. Wasn't there something about a red chain in the... When it came to pacifying the other legendaries? Palkia and Dialga? They say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water, and so Lake Verity was born. It is protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how the old tales go, anyway. Yes, God? My god phone says it's my turn in the cave. The, that cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that the Ark phone that... Well, Oss phone, Ark phone. Hmm. The professor was going on about? Let's do this, Neon. Mistress Kogita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. And this challenge was never for the faint of heart. And I don't even have access to my move tutor. Just in case we can catch. One hundred percent accuracy, five PP. If we need to use more than five moves, then we've already lost. And besides, we kind of don't want to kill them. Just in case. Well, on we go. There's something about this place I can't quite put into words. Oh, God. A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Trounce that thing, Neon. Prove to the Pokemon of the lake how strong you are.
Well, I guess we can just go up to it and fight it. Probably no normal... Yeah. It's like the first Cricketune match. Alright, thank you for not attacking. Jesus. Akuma, come out and annihilate this monster! Ah, oh, shit. My boy didn't even live. All right, Zack. Let's try you, but your steel types, you're probably also gonna get annihilated. Dang it. Close combat! Ah, shit. All right. We'll max revive Akuma first. See how well Risu survives. Well, luckily, thank God you're not dragon type. All things considered, because if you were a dragon type, that would be very bad for us. There. Risu. But at least this means we can send out Akuma to try and annihilate this guy. If we go first, at least. But he probably won't. Ah, oh, we do. High horsepower, agile style. There we go. We actually just needed to land a hit on the monster. That's the way, Neon. I can tell by watching you that you, uh, and the Pokemon you've caught in those little balls truly understand one another. Now let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. You feel a mysterious presence. I'm going to assume that I can't catch you. You have to exist for the f free in the future. Your emotions, share them with me. They're yours. So it speaks from its mind straight to yours. Makes sense for a Pokemon that embodies an aspect of the mind, I guess. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Surprise. I met God. Nothing more surprising than that. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work? Heartening. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clan? Hmm, it's a wide world. What did you feel when cast out? Life is complicated. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. At least we get to visit Mesprit Azolf and the like. Mesprit's Plume. 
Mesprit's Bloom. Proof that you have completed the trial set by Mesprit, the being of emotion that lives in Lake Verity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. But that still leaves that one, that one. I can't even imagine what that must feel like, having a Pokemon talk to you without words. Well, the world's full of mysteries, I guess. I can hardly even be surprised at things like these after seeing the sky itself so warped. Now we have two lakes to visit. I wonder if after I complete all this, if I can go to that one, uh, cave. That was a top, like in the, uh, Cobalt Cove or whatever. Cobalt Coastland. That ha kind of has the pillars, if we can go there and catch them. Maybe, maybe not. Looks like that worked out well, Neon. Gotta admit, you sure know how plenty about Hisui, Volo. <laughs> That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose, I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. I think we'd like some... We'd all like some answers on that. I don't properly know how we came to worship Almighty Sinnoh in the first place. I haven't even got some questions about its true nature. Weighty matters to ponder for sure, but we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kojita's home? Let's go back. Perfect. I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. Because that, that empty cave that has the pillars has to mean something in regards to the lake trio, I think. Has to be. Ah, Mesprit's plume. So the legends told it true. Then the red chain must be real as well. I guess, but this all makes no sense to me. These Pokemon represent our minds, and they'll give us this thing, and it'll let us bind the world and solve all this mess. But how? Why? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, where the rift... Were the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I get it even less now. Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible way. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, we all have to do is complete two more trials and we'll get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of successes to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. More and more human voices echo throughout Hisui with the growth of your galaxy team. It's an antique tea set. I don't have any medicinal leaks. I must have more medicinal leaks so I can make more... Everything, really. Ah, uh, does he not sell medicinal leaks? But he does sell... Revives... Straight from the vine. Okay, I'm going to make as many things out of the wood as I can. And I'll sell them. And then I'll grab some Max Revives. And since we're not fighting any Pokemon that I care to live... Where it be? Not aerial ice. Not gust or roost. Air slash. 
Take away false swipe. All right. We'll probably head to Lake Valor. To the Bogbound Camp. I was going to end early. And then the world said no. Now the bog looks even scarier. And here I thought that the... Sister psychopaths would have more to do with the story. Maybe they do. And I didn't even get Spiritum in time for the end. Oh well. Probably wouldn't have used Spiritum anyway. Here I come. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verarity. Though there are also other theories that say it was carved out by the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts, or that is what the legend would have us believe. Magical phone. Open sesame by the will of God. Oh, a cave appears where there was none, as if just for Neon. In we go, Neon. I imagine strong Pokemon would wait inside a cave, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. And at least I get a chance to choose my Pokemon off the top of my head. But it depends, because I'm not good with Pokemon typing. Let's see what we're up against. Hmm. Quillfish. A menacing Pokemon waits before you. Watch it, Neon. I've heard about this one from Greg my grandfather's. Those quills, they're venomous. Well, poisonous. Or is it venomous? I guess it's venomous. Let's see. Crimson Mylands. Overquill. Let's try and find Overquill. Oh, Crimson Mylands. Cobalt Coast Land. Oh, Quillfish. Overquill. Dark Poison. What's good against Dark and Poison? Dark makes it immune to Psychic. Poison is usually... Mm, I don't know how... Mm, I don't know who to put first. Dark and Poison. And it has water moves because it's a fish. We'll have Gyarados, Risu go first. Purely just... I should, uh... No. Because it lost its water type, so even though it knows water moves and it is a fish, Thunder wouldn't have done much. And it's going to go first. Harsh. But damage itself. Let's see. Ah, Kuma. Water pulse it. Very rude. Thunderbolt! Ah, uh, yo, yay, I thought you missed that for a moment. Ah, Risu might be the victor. Water Pulse. Risu is the victor.
That's my neon. All right, we'll bring her. Show to me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Oh, a balm battle. Did those bombs just appear out of nowhere? I guess you're meant to throw them at Azelf. seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? I'm not through yet. I'll get you eventually. I'm the protagonist. I hate that I missed this hitbox so many times. You seem to hear a voice in your head. Seems you have the best give up. Will you continue regardless? I'm not through yet. I'll hit you eventually. This must be silly to look at for Adaman. That totally hit you. Cheater. That would have hit you too. Extra cheater. You seem to hear a voice. Give up. You struggle in vain. Will you press on? I'm not through yet. I know you're about willpower. Hey! 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 Let's see. You can catch them. Okay, good to know. See, no, see, see it's you self destruct 40 times! <gasps> what?! Balm, 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 Maybe you have to wait for it to go to sleep. Because throwing is obviously not doing anything right now. Hmm. I don't want to get too close to the exit, though. Ah, maybe? These might mean something. Maybe. Kind of reminds me of the steel symbol. Hey, Adamant, you have any advice? Did those bombs just appear out of nowhere? I guess they're meant to throw them at Azelf. Okay, apparently I just kind of break the game there for a moment. Uh, yeah, I think I break the game for a moment. It was just like, I can't move. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Remember, kids, insanity is the way to go. As Elf's Fang. Azelf's Fang, proof that you have completed the trial set by Azelf. 
the being of willpower that lives in Lake Valor. This item is needed to forge the red chain. I have no idea what I did, but I did it. Just one more to go. Just one more to go. But from the looks of it, we're not going to actually run into any Reggies. And that's disappointed. Maybe Regigigas in the post game. But probably not Registeel, Reggie Ice, and stuff. I assume all went well. Still, I must wonder why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running around? I guess I can think of two reasons to keep the chain safe and to test us. Perhaps you're right. Who knows what would be happen if it fell into the wrong hands after. Blah. After all. Though having said that, isn't the red chain from mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Binding the gods of space and time? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. You could well be right. I guess we'll have no way of knowing until we get the chain ourselves. So, shall we return to Miss Kojita's home? Let's go back! Wonderful! Then we can see if Mistress Kojita, Kogita has any more insights to share with us. And I didn't even have to use any of my max revives. Although I'm not getting any money, so that's sad. So that's Azelf's Fang. I sense a warmth to it. The Pokemon of the lakes are strange. They seem to play on our minds somehow. Indeed, yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Kamado has raised a force not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it, should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if, if a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? It's gonna be Giratina! And that settles it, Neon. There's no time to lose. We've got one material left to find for the red chain. Let's go get it. That's the spirit. I'll come watch the historic moment unfold, too. Watch? Is that all you really do? Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins in the Mirelands. Yeah. I just remembered. Because a part of me was kind of wondered for a moment why there were no... There wasn't a lake or anything like that in the Mirelands. It's because it's... The diddly. The only place left. To Lake Acuity. Ice Peak Camp! But yeah, it's either Arceus or Giratina. It's one or the other. It has to be. There's like... Let's see. Forget. Is there anything interesting in here? It is called the Secret Hollow. But I guess another Pokemon, legendary Pokemon, might appear in there, maybe. Come on, Sneasler. Time to climb a mountain. I have so many traversal options now, I haven't actually gone into the water in forever. Wish that I could see into the diddly D. Dive to the lake. Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could well be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Like Acuity, it's protected by the Pokemon Yuxi. When Yuxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's why the story's set anyway. Arc phone is beeping. And they're still surprised. Love the music. 
A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. Let's go, Neon. I imagine there may be a Pokemon in there protecting the Lake's Guardian. Take care. Once more, Risu will probably be handy against this monster, whatever it may be. Now let's see what's waiting for us. A giant Lucario? Nope, a giant Zoroa. Normal ghost, I think. I know you don't need me to tell you this, Neon, but I've still got to say it. Be careful around that thing. Let's see. Normal ghost. What's good against ghost again? I honestly don't know what's good against ghost. Definitely not psychic. Alright, I'm gonna play it safe and send out Akuma first. I'm wearing your face! And of course it'll go first because the world is mean. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage. And frostbite. Nope, nothing. Do I even have anything that can actually hurt this bastard? Oh, dark moves. That will be in handy, won't it? But we have nothing to lose. High horsepower! You won't survive another strike anyway! And now, Zack. Your time has come. Defeat this Zoroark! Good job, boy. Knew you could do it, Neon. Mysterious presence. Motion. Willpower. Hello, Yuxi. Come, I will test your knowledge. Ah, shit, I'm terrible with knowledge. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are their eyes? Tell me each, one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Combi, Magneton, Dusclops. Uh, can you repeat, please? Combi, Zubat. Combi is two, four, six. Zubat is zero. Unknown, unknown is one. Magneton is two. Dusclops is one. Six, zero. Six, zero, one, two, one, six thousand one hundred and twenty one. I'm ready to answer. Six thousand. Well. Oh, wait, you wouldn't be count- well, no, it does. We do need to count you. Answer me true, if answer you would. Nah, I got it wrong. Damn it. Combi. Zubat. Unknown Magneton Dusclops. I'll quickly look up so I can actually see. Combi. Zubat is zero, we know. Unknown should be one. Eh. 
answer once and like answer all together. So it's just like bleh. Oh, Magneton, not the Magnezone. I'm dumb. That's where I got it mixed up. All right, I got my answer. Tell me each, one by one, yet all at once. Ready to answer. I just got Magneton mixed up with Magnezone. Okay. Combi, six. Zubat, zero. Unknown, one. Magneton, three. Dusclops, one. Take this piece of the spirit to bind this world. Yeah, I got... There's too many Magna Pokemon. That's a nice kind of riddle, even though it kind of gives it away when it's just like, Hey, you need five of five. <laughs> you obtained Yuxi's Claw. Yuxi's Claw. Proof that you have completed the trial set by Yuxi, the being of knowledge that lives in Lake Acuity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. That's it! You've completed the Trials of the Three Lakes! Yeah, now we need to quickly head to the Mirelands, to the Shrouded Ruins, to build the damn thing, before Kamado does something stupid! It seems we finished the Three Lake Trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head to the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. This time I don't even get a choice. At least I didn't have to come here. This really makes me want to play Platinum. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is very good at obscuring things. It's long been set to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as that. That being said, where are we meant to, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Showing up only when time's right, huh? When, with age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I could hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Unknown? Maybe unknown could bind it. Oh no, it's the, the Lake Trio. Ah, the Pokemon of the Lakes. Come upon me, Red Chain. Woot woot. Well, now we have the divine instrument. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down from all these generations has been kept. At last I could set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again, Neon. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against that giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't yet know what our Neon has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's right. We've got to let him know that it'll be all right now that we have the red chain. Even if the commander should see reason then and call off his ho- even the commander should see reason then and call off this foolhardy plan of his.
Yo, bitches, I got a magic god instrument. Huh? Wait, Neon, it's you! I can't believe I just let you pass right by! Thank goodness you're still alive. I, I mean, of course you are! I knew you'd be alright! Wait a, one second, I'll let the captain and professor know you're back. I've got a god instrument. I can mend reality. Oh my dear Neon. Professor, I know you've been worried about Neon, but there's no need to cry. I'm not, not crying. Do not mock your elders, if you please, Ray. <laughs> and besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend? Y you didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore him, Neon. Anyway, where's Captain Silene? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of... mound of work. I'm afraid we're to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems her hands are more than full now that the Commander Commando's gone. Um, the commander's gone? Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the security corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the security folks. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. Hopefully Abra can teleport us. But more than likely, it'll be a race. So you managed to not die, just as I ordered. Well done. Hm. Yeah, thanks to you and Adamin. Well, actually, mostly thanks to you, yeah. Adamin was nice, but he didn't really stop me from dying. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask, I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use? Who's... I visited the lakes. Go on. I got a god chain. A legendary tool set to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The Security Corps has been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it, something that resembled a Pokémon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Neon's help. As the captain of the survey corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Neon, take that red chain to Mount Coronet. Make your way to the peak and put an end to all of this. You are officially reinstated to your former rank. Woohoo! I'm back! Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here! Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. But hey! Oh hey! What? 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 Something the matter, Lucario? Who are you? I'm Rai, and you are? Okay, you're Neon. Nice to meet you. What is it, Lucario? It seems Lucario since your strong aura, too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? Steely Lucario! Okay, interesting. Interesting that this has happened. Whenever I look to the sky, I can't help but heave a little sigh. He said, come to the training ground, and here I am. Steely Lucario. Oh, he's right around here. I take it you're ready for our battle. I'm ready. 
Now then, let's forego the small talk and proceed right to battle. That's our style. I'll send out my Rialu and see how well he does. Let's see how much your... How powerful you are. Level 62, he's gonna annihilate you. That's what I figured would happen. We don't need to max revive because Zack won't get any fight in. He's too slow. But I want him to get experience. That won't help you. But this will hurt you! I need to use Zack on better enemies. That was wonderful battle. Seems we need to redo our training, Lucario. Thank you for the experience. I can tell you've met many Pokemon, and that's helped you make you strong. I think we'll test our skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. So I'm probably gonna have to fight you multiple times. But neat. But... No time to waste. We need to go. Hello, Adamin. There you are, Neon. Irida's already headed to Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? The commander is already at Mount Coronet. He's already started up the mountain? He must be more reckless than the dignified manner he lets on. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, all right then. Guess I'm going after him. Let me go first, Neon. If you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a-wasting. See you! Hmm. <laughs> Who is the reckless one? Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still tried to find a way to help us all? It's the only I'm a human being. That's right. Neon worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody. Too right. And fine job she did, too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokémon. Thanks. Here, take this. What is it? Ah, thank you. That's a valuable thing. Your orders are three. One, make for the Summit Camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. I like this Celine. Silene. The fact that they kind of set her up to be like, oh, she is probably Cyrus. No, she's actually really helpful and good. Hey, Volo. I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the Galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here are some max potions for me to celebrate. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last, but no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamin and Irida have headed up to the peak as well. My good friend, Neon. I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the Summit Camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up shop closer to the temple itself. Hey, Melly. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here. For moral support, at least. <laughs> you do you, Melly. But it's me. Back in action. Time to head up. 
because we are on our way. Fly! No time to waste. I can go through, right? This is the stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. But really, I'm not sure what the point is any longer. Think you could a go ask for me? <laughs> Thank you, my dude! Okay, this is eerie music. I can hardly see. Who are you? Who are you? There's music in the background. B -b 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 Yo! Mochi Man! Oh, still alive and kicking? Sorry about having to shatter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that taskmaster, Kamado's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While I'm standing, handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all. Are you serious? I'll make myself plain as Commando's right hand. I'm charged of executing all the gritty deeds Commando can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. So Kamado is the bad guy. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it make them make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last, at last, one final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. Who are you, Bean Man? Galaxy Team's Benny challenged you to battle. What level are you? Huh, this might be an even fight. Never mind. How come everyone's faster than you, Zack? Risu, you're up next! Crunch! Get rid of it! I should have brought some Max Ethers. Why do you go twice? Water Pulse! Thunderbolt! Well, it's gonna kill Risu. I doubt you'll survive for long, but we might have... Hmm. I really should have leveled them up more. Strong style Shadow Claw. Ah, this might work. Unless you go first. Please don't go twice. Why do you go twice? Maybe even three at this. 
Oh, and you got a critical hit too, because the world is mean. At least after I beat you, I should be able to go back down. Brave bird. Sneasler. Rude. Three moves in a row. What a bastard. At least Risu. Kind of. Ay, ay, ay. They want to revive a decent amount so they can get experience. That causes drowsiness, huh? Max Potion, Risu! Care to try again? Thunderbolt! Damn, it's gonna hit multiple times. It's probably gonna kill him, too. Darn it! If you can hit it first, we might win, but it'll probably outspeed you. We win. Agile Brave Bird! Seems my ninja techniques will soon be consigned to history. Bastard. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target who they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Neon. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burn to the ground by imagined Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Hisui to try and build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If, hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself, by force if you must. Do that, 
and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. Okay, dude. Save Commando from himself if you must. But I have to go heal, I think. Okay, no, everyone was healed up. What about our moves? Are our moves all there? Our moves are all there. Uh, Sir thing, my dude. Onwards we go. That was the hardest Pokemon battle I've had. Stone Pillar. Well, this is it. Have you brought everything you need? Honestly, if you could give me some rare candies, that would be nice. You've brought the red chain? Neon, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon that's apparently been sighted through the rift. I, I think it might be the almighty Sinnoh. But Commander Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple. No, that's Arceus's temple. Might very well be Stone Pillar, but I don't know. It's been five billion years. Hey, Kamado. Oh, he's wearing armor. I'm here to stop you, madman. You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind this world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as a min as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Trust me. What do you think even the red chain is some trick of Neon's part? She worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know. I was with her the whole time. I saw her rise to the trials set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If she somehow concocted all of that on her own, then what hope do we even have anyway? Perhaps you're right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this girl, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Neon. Today, we battle in earnest. The Galaxy Team's Kamado challenge you to battle! Go! Braviary! Go, Robin! Bird on bird violence, and he's gonna go first, isn't he? Oh, I go first. Haha! <laughs> Strong style. Air slash! Knock it out of the air! And that does... that hurts. Ah, it goes twice. Well, Risu will make quick work of you! Knock it out of the air! Thunderbolt! Ah, this will work well for me. I think. No risking. Max revive. While we have an opportunity of, uh, because we should have type advantage, unless this golem is evil. Why is it super effective? It's a freaking water type. Well, well, well. Time to crush you! Get out of here, Golem! This is my town! High horsepower! And I follow up with more power! Who are you sending next, Kamado? 
Fuck! My own challenge against me! Bah, shit! Alright, Zack, beat him up. He's a normal type. And he's higher level than you, but don't matter about that. Since we go... Since we have the advantage there, I'm going to take the chance to full restore Risu. And now... Aura Sphere! That's just rude. I hate normal types sometimes. Normal types just have everything. We'll have to see who his final Pokemon is to rule, really decide who wins this. Water Pulse! Oh, that's not good. You bastard. Crunch it! Gonna bring Akuma back. Agile water power. Keep making use of that Giga Impact, my dude. Akuma, get in there! Use Rock Smash, it's super effective! Man's defensive stats went lower! Rock Smash again! That's gonna be the worst thing in the world, isn't it? Because it's Fairy Psychic, I think? What do we even have against that? Gonna revive Zack just because I want him to get experience from this battle. A nice dream. Full power! High horsepower! Damn it. Robin, it's up to you! Air Slash! For the stab! Well, no, you're no longer flying. I keep forgetting that. Leaf Blade! Darn it! And it's gonna... Alright, Fairy is a weird type. Leaf Blade again! You can take another Drain Kiss! Yes! Finish it off! And... And another useless... End of round crit. An end of round crit.
Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Does that mean all my Pokemon have to be eliminated? You are truly a force to be reckoned with. Nyan, the fates have decided. I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander. I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please, use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokémon living in Hisui! Don't you worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. All right. Up I go again. Juggling items. Beyond the space-time rift, it seems there's a being that has no regard for our very existence out there. Can you feel the staggering power weighing down? I doubt any human has a chance against it. The commander's headed to the temple, but I fear the situation's already out of our control. Weirdeer, Cleaver, Lilligant, Ursaluna. Arcanine, Basque Legion, Voltorb, Sneasler, Braviary. I already forgot your name, like Agravug or something like that. I wonder what, just what is happening on the other side of the space-time rift. You can do this, Neon. I believe in you. The moment has come. It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. My head. Something's talking inside my head. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. Adamin, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh! I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me! It's telling me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. For the fight has come. Take these. Ten Ultra Balls. Thank you, sir. Well, this is gonna be fucking hard. I should have gone to level up my Pokemon. But I wanted to go back and uh, continue on. Continue on the fight. And ask another... Another... Arceus. No, Giratina? Arceus or Giratina? Maybe Palkia? Palkia. Where's Dialga then? Oh boy! And there goes the red chain. So I guess the post game will be getting the other legendary Pokemon of the one that you didn't choose. Go, Robin! The music! Stone Pillar! Ah, shit. Leaf Blade! Well, this is gonna be very bad. Do we have anything that's good? Once again, my underleveled Zack! Music. It's coming! Because we need to catch this guy. What won't he missed? Yeah. 
Air Slash. Flash Cannon! Okay, that's not too bad. Air Slash. This remix of, of Stone Pillar fight, wonderful. Oh, no! Congratulations, you took time to the face in one, my dear Robin. Another air slash. At least this is a battle of nobody has super effective against the other, so... And I'm going to cheese you out. I'm going to cheese you the fuck out. I can get three in a row. Lol. Just look at him looking up at the god of time. And being like, You think you can take me, god of time? I am a Pokemon. This is an epic remix. I love this. I love this. I love this. Stand strong. Oh, triple! I should have waited until I had uh, multiple turns. Cheese him the fuck out. He's not going to go down with just one Ultra Ball. What? Okay! Okay! Woo-hoo! I didn't think he would go down with just one ball. Now I have the God of Time! I caught your almighty Sinnoh. She caught it. The red chain is shattered, but we owe the Pokemon of the Lakes our thanks for getting us this far. Oh, well done, my Neon, my girl. Masterfully handed. I was watching the whole, thi t whole time as you battled and caught your way to simply studying victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. It's all because she had me to show her the robes when she first got here. Wait, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Suno. No! No, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga speaking in my mind. Space-time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzied one comes to fight. Now, human, fight it with me! You're telling me there's another one?! But the red chain smashed to bits! No way even Neon could tackle another Pokémon as strong as the last one now! That's why we have to use Dialga! I want guarantee. Okay, you're not the post-game, Palkia. Oh dear God! Where's Giratina though? Where's my boy? Where's my void boy? Oh dear God! As you command, Commando. Now what? All of you, we must vacate this! Gah, forget the fancy talk! Book it! Come on! We gotta make it to the summit camp while we still can! We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us! But Commander, we just can't leave it here. You dunce! You won't be any use to anyone if you die up here on this mountain! What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone! Okay. Commando has redeemed himself. Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Neon. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely a buildup of the same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. I can't believe there are really two almighty Sinnoh after all. I guess that means neither of our clans was really wrong, huh? I must apologize from the bottom of my heart to the both of you as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. 
You never abandoned your trust in Neon. And to you, Neon. I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Well, it's my home now, too. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the, st at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell in the past, huh? Just what I'd expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude, indeed. Yes, let's move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having Neon about has been a good influence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you were here, huh? We'd have no- we've had, had no chance getting through this disaster without you. We're still not through it! How is she to keep fighting? The red chain is shattered. Relax, I've got a plan, thanks to what mighty Dialga told me. Dialga, the Pokémon that spoke to you? Yeah, and along with its name, it also told me what we need. The stone of creation's beginning, the chain of red, the vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, Mighty Dialga said it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have, at least, the pieces anyway. I did collect them. And the vessel of humankind's invention. I dare say they that might refer to a Pokeball. That's gotta be it, but what about the stone of creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon will be a fine resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Prof La Professor Laventon? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? <gasps> oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Neon, my girl, could you lend me those plates you received from Weird Deer and the others? The ones that Volo had messages and gre said had messages and greed upon them. I haven't looked at those messages, I guess. I don't even think I can. Aha, just as I remembered. Here on the back of the Earth plate it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow's come around to the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's decided. <laughs> Imagine Laventon with that voice. Oh. It's decided, then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name's rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I propose we call it Origin Or. Irida, may we ask of your clan's aid once more? Of course. I'll call Leon to the summit camp at once. I... I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect. My invitation just never came, so I decided to honor you all for an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adam, I see all those other layabout louts have their little tasks to be getting on with, but what about the great Melly? Where's my role in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of ex respect, won't you? <coughs> Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adamant, and make it a good one. <coughs> you want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint! Oh, Adamant. Oh, 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 you silly foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to and work they are not. And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Grunt. Well done for you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're also little compared to me. Three candy truffles, okay. I brought Leon. Yeesh, that ugly suit. That ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. 
Kasui's ores and stones are a precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I would be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleaver in battle with that bubbling ball of yours. Excuse me? That bubbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adamant! Everyone back home is all worked up about the fact you were spoken to by Almighty Sinnoh, or Mighty Dialga, or whatever. This is the Diamond Clan's day. Be proud! Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Then let us set out at once. We make for the pri primeval grotto. There's so much to do. I thought this would be nice and quick. No, this is going in and I am all for it. Woo! I'm loving it, but we are going way too long. I was going to stop after we beat... Uh, the, the last noble. But no, we're still going. But we have... Ah! Ah! We have a most magical thing. 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 His name is Dialga. Imagine just having a god with you. But okay, okay, he's on the team now. Woot woot. What moves do you know, oh god of time? What moves? What moves? You have a lot of moves. Neat. Power gem. Attacks of a ray of light that sparkles if it made by gemstones. <gasps> Ancient power. Okay, power gem's gonna be thrown in. Iron tail is so useless. Power gem instead. And it adds... Uh... And it adds a bit of a diddly d, but roar of time. Too bad it's freaking dragon type. But hey, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. If it were, if we had more time, I would continue going. No problem whatsoever. But bruh. I think I'm gonna take a break from this. Like even though it's like keep going, keep going. I want to level up my Rialu. I want to get to know my Rialu. So we're gonna do some things. I don't know. Hibbly blee. Do some Pokédex stuff, I guess. Well, the world can't get any more fucked. I don't even know if we could do anything. And the moon's not out, so that's out. we can't do the Clefairy. But, yeah, I'll just do some things. Try and level up my friendship and everything with the Lucario. Well, Rialu. And then he'll become the Lucario. And he'll be extra cool. But, yes, this is all amazing. This is all great. And I really want to level up my team so they'll be more useful. But... That'll be later. This is amazing. This is... the the This has got to be one of the best, like... This is the closest thing to a normal Pokemon game having an epic story, and I love it. It's amazing. I love it. The music is great. The pacing is pretty wonderful. This is all amazing. But it will have to be for now, because we went far too long again. But that just is a testament to how great this game is. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Neonice Wings. This has been more Pokemon... Legends Arceus. I hope they make more games like this. This is freaking fantastic. But yes. If you want more from me, you can see an edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, that I post to once in a billion years. If you want to catch up on streams you may have missed, I have the archive channel, Neon Icy Games. And if you're already one of those people that are watching the the archives of these streams, then you can come over and watch me play these games live at twitch.tv Neon Icy Wings. And then I just love this game. It's so good. There's so much what it's doing. It's amazing. Whoever had the idea, hey, let's make a kind of Pokemon game that has to do a lot of like capturing the Pokemon and like uh, surveying them. But then there's also combat. It's like, yes, that was amazing. Even if I even if Dialga was kind of the easiest fight I've had during the main story to a degree, which is kind of funny, but, ah, uh, love this game. Oh yeah, and if you want to see me try and draw things from time to time, my 
also post art to Twitter, DeviantArt, Tumblr, Buzzly.art, and Newgrounds. Most of those are at Neon Icy Wings, except for the Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, this is a great, this is an amazing game. I love it. It's good. It's wonderful. And I will see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>